What's going on, guys? I appreciate all of you that were hanging out and waiting. This was kind of spur of the moment. Just gave you guys like maybe a 20, 25 minute heads up for those that had notifications on. And uh, it's been a good day so far. It's cheat day. I already had my Cadbury eggs that I like to have. They were out of uh, caramel eggs, so I just had cream eggs, but they were still fantastic. And for those of you watching the replay, I know I'm kind of getting into I was just excited that it was cheat day. When you're dieting, you look forward to your cheat day. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming and watch the replay that are watching the replay currently. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you'll be alerted when I go live so you can take part in the live chat. So we quick, fast, and in a hurry. We're all ready to 40 people. I see you guys, Jim Little, Scott, Spencer, Jamie. How are all of you? Joel, David, good to see all of you. What are you guys wearing today? I mean, we've got to start it right. Optine Supremacy, not only intense for me. I haven't worn it in a little while. I was kind of jonesing for it. Probably the best black currant fragrance I have because it's just so much of it at the top. A lot of oak moss, too. Aventus, sure, a bit, but... This falls in between Hachivat and Aventus, and I don't think it smells more like either one of them. It's kind of its own take on the scent profile in many ways. Like I said, it's just it's mainly saffron, leathery saffron with a lot of black currant. It's a bomb of this bitter, tart, fruitiness, inky almost in many ways, spicy, earthy, green oak moss. So good. So good. God, I love this fragrance. It's been a little while since I wore it. It's just so damn good. Let's see what everybody's wearing. Narcotica. Excellent choice, Patrick. Lamal. What's going on, Kyler? How are you? Spice Bomb Infrared. Lunarosa Carbon. Brute Classic Aftershave. That's an interesting choice. Hugo Boss Private Accord. LV Imagination. I've heard so many good things about that. Strong With You. Absolutely. That is one of my favorites. It's featured in today's video for anybody that hasn't seen today's video. The One Luminous Night. 9 a.m. Dive. Second time in a row. That's what I'm talking about. Mute, mute Cologne. Okay. Shafak. Raja, Raja Britannia Cologne. Okay. I haven't even tried the original. Hawass. Bright Peach. The Alhambra Clone. Okay. Savage EDT. And it's all right. Okay. Bria, rocking the Green Witch Village dupe. Blunt Bond number nine clone. I can finally type. How you doing? I'm doing well, Enzo. How are you? All genres bops. What's going on? Banana Republic Vintage Green. If it's a nice, mild spring day, then you made an excellent choice, in my opinion. That's one of the best spring cheapies money can buy. Eric, how are you? Kenzo Ohm EDT Intense. Harfan Ahmed Al. Amagrabi? Amagrabi? I'm sure I'm not saying it with the right twang and accent, but, you know. Mandarin Duck Black sampling Chanel 1957. I've never smelled that one. So you guys are smelling great today for sure. So I don't have any specific topic in mind. There wasn't any fragrances that I wanted to dive into. I was just, you know, it's I'm kind of free for the rest of the afternoon before I film tomorrow's video. And, um, I already had my Chipotle and my Cadbury eggs, which was my cheat meal and cheat snack. And, you know, had a great workout. It was a great arm day. No cardio today. Um, definitely was wearing, you know, these shoes aren't the best for cardio. Some low top vans. Definitely not good shoes for, for cardio. So I was just kind of having a great arm day. So tomorrow's going to be a dedicated cardio day anyway. So, so I just figured I'd jump on and chat with you guys don't forget to like the live stream bria thank you so much i appreciate that sun's out guns out hugo reversed doing just fine Send of today's ganymede presence cool sprayed it heavily okay for six months or so i get samples this time green Irish sweet angel share by the fireplace enigma pour ohm Ooh. never smelled the parfum pour ohm i have the parfum cologne Naxos also got Cedrap Waze. Going to be a good week. I bet it will be. Going to be a good one for sure. Dossier Woody Tobacco, their clone of By the Fireplace and Jazz Club are both really good. I have to say, they're both really good. Um, I don't know. Do you want to piss everybody off or do you want to smell good? <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Vanilla Oud. It's amazing. I have to get a bottle eventually. It is fantastic. That is for sure. Uh, check Max Aroma. Randy messaged me earlier saying uh, it's right around 200 bucks and they have it in stock. So there's like $100 off code or sale or something like that going on. 
Um, so check Max Aroma if you're looking to get a bottle. Dino, what's going on? Okay. Grassland at Ross today for 20 bucks. Torn between Percival and Sadly for summertime. Which one do you go as far as more into longevity for the money you pay than definitely Percival? <laughs> definitely Percival if you're uh, more interested in how it performs versus how it smells. If you're more interested in how it smells, go with Sedley. But if you need, you know, more than seven or eight hours of longevity, I, I mean, go with Percival because I get like seven or eight hours, really eight hours easily with uh, with Sedley. But Sedley smells better. Sedley's the better fragrance to me overall. But that's me. I, I have both. So <laughs> Creed Royal Water, super underrated. I used to have a decan of that one. Beat around the bush, getting a bottle forever. I, you used to be able to get a four ounce bottle for like one eighty. Now that's mm, <laughs> prices have gone up. Sin of the day's Herod wanted by night. After my runs, I crave so much junk food. It's killing me, man. Hey, look, I get it. It's my last cheat day was Sunday. Wife was in the mood for Burger King, so because really my cheat day was going to be Monday. So instead of Five days apart. It was four days apart last time from a cheat day. So I made it a point for it to be five days apart this time. So it was Sunday. Now it's Friday. And the rest of the day, I mean, the only real cheat here today was these Cadbury eggs because my usual post-workout meal was what I got at Chipotle today. Brown rice, pinto, double chicken, fajita vegetables, half a scoop of green chili salsa. I get it. It's what I get. Um and then the rest of the day, like my next two meals are going to be the 99% lean ground turkey with the carrots and the onion, which I've been eating without rice and without Southwest corn. So since it's cheat day and I can have all these carbs, I'm going to add the Southwest corn and the rice back to it. So that's going to be fantastic. And then tonight, just a snack. Have these unsalted dry roasted peanuts. Some fats and some protein, some good fats. I'll have probably two or three handfuls this evening. Versus Iconic, versus Alharamine, Amber, Oud, Blue. How do you rank them? I rank them. They're all good. Get any one that sounds the most interesting to you. <laughs> it's, I mean, it comes down to Iconic and Amber, Oud, Blue, I guess, would be the better two over Masoni Parfum, but that's still really good, too. So, I mean, it's literally whichever one you think you would like, you think sounds best to you, that's the one. Because they're all three good. They're all three good fragrances. They're all three pretty accurate. Uh, I've Oud Galore one time when I was with Justin, but that's the only one I tried. It was magnificent, but it was just one spray one time, and it was last year sometime. So I'm getting far behind pretty quickly. So I got to skip ahead, guys. If you want to make sure that I don't miss your question, if it's really that important to you, I mean, you don't have to do a super chat, but they jump out, they stand out, even if it's just a dollar. Because um, when I get to talking, I get so far behind and I have to skip some comments. So if it's not that serious, don't sweat the super chat. You know what I mean? But if it's something you really, really want to make sure I see an answer, there's always that. So let's see. Let me scroll. Sorry, I had to jump ahead a little bit. I was getting behind. Been on a city rhythm kick lately. Niles is doing amazing work. I agree. Love your videos. All the best to you and yours. Well, Thrift Sleep Fan, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. Tried Masoni Pour Ohm yesterday for the first time. Two sprays on the wrist. Found it to be a straight lavender bomb, which I'm surprised to hear. Gave me a headache. But I sure do love Masoni Wave. I definitely prefer Masoni Wave too. It's fantastic. Sin of the day, Abraj enclosure. Abraj, I'm guessing is how you say that. So you wore lineage, but have been able to check out some of the other. No, I have uh I have three samples of the other three in that collection. I just haven't I haven't dove into them yet. And I've only worn lineage just one time. I've done some test sprays and then one full wearing. Sin of the Day Italian Cypress. Best pickup that I thought I was not going to be a favorite of mine. Myths Man from Amois. I've never tried that one. Let's see. Red Tobacco. Excellent choice, Noah. Excellent choice. I put 100 calories more for my cut and replaced my oatmeal for a protein shake. Need more protein when on a cut. No doubt. No doubt. I was doing right around 200 grams prior to the cut. And then now I'm like at minimum taking in 250 a day. So I pretty much increased my protein intake by 25% at an average. Some days is more than that. Some days it's 235, 240. But most days it's really around like 260-ish, 260, 265. I had one day where I almost had 300 grams. I was eating a lot of meat that day, a lot of, a lot of chicken that day, plus, plus scoops of whey protein and everything. So some days are grander than others for sure. 
Well, I never catch a live. Live. So today, Bleecker Street, excellent, just came in the mail. Cheers. I hope you enjoy it. On its site, Green Irish Tweed. What else? Have you tried mine? No, I haven't tried anything from Mind Game. I like the bottles, and I've heard good things. I just haven't tried anything from them. 10-4. Sageman Grand Tour 2014. Terry Amez, Polo Green, or CK Eternity. Of those, for me, Polo Green. Eternity was my dad's thing. I really don't even like Eternity. I like all the flankers. I don't like the original. Um, and Terre de Mez, the only one that smells good on me is Ogivre, the newest one. All the rest, the vetiver just it smells funky on my skin. Territorial Wild, Cheap Savage Clone, 16 bucks. It's good, though. Sin of the Day is a Harl Signature Rosé. Definitely can't go wrong there. Sin of the Day, Sand Dance from SHL. Keep up the good work from Sweden. Thank you so much, Dennis. I appreciate that. Center of the day is bad boy. What's your thoughts on Apex? Uh, so I got a ton of stuff that you don't see in my rotations. I think it's fantastic. Both are great. The EDP and the Parfum. Um, the Parfum is a superior fragrance, but you're going to pay more to get less fragrance. Um, I just, I have so much. Think about this, man. I have over a thousand fragrances. Nothing stays repetitive in my rotation, uh, especially when it comes to these really nice scent profiles, these really nice niche fragrances. I, I like just if I, a lounge day like this, like going to the gym, then coming home. I don't really want to, I don't really think to spray these super expensive fragrances to just hang out in here. You know what I mean? I'm not going to wear them to the gym. I went to run to Walmart and went to Chipotle. Now, if we got something to do, that's when I go to reaching for stuff like that. That's when I go for these higher quality scent profiles. But just hanging out, if I'm not testing something for a review and it's just something, just picking something to spray. And it's a day like this, you're not going to see me wearing stuff like that because I feel like it's wasteful. Like these higher quality fragrances deserve something a little more from me is kind of how I feel about it. Hope that makes sense. But they're fantastic. Like there's hundreds of fragrances you might not see me wear even close to a regular basis that I stand firmly behind on how good they are. I just can't get to all of them. You know what I mean? I'm Waj Overture Man. Got recently. It might be six months to a year before I wear that thing again because my wife doesn't like it, first of all. But I think it's magnificent, but it's challenging. It's very situational. Maybe a year before I wear it again, honestly. Maybe even longer. I love Raja Parfum Scandal, Parfum Pour Homme, uh, Parfum Cologne, and Creation E. Hardly ever wear them. Incredible fragrances. Hardly ever wear them. Because they deserve more than hanging out in front of my computer with a T-shirt on. Hope that all makes sense with you. Uh, must not use it. No, I don't have that issue. I take probiotics and I eat healthy. I don't have diarrhea, man. <laughs> I don't have issues. I don't have, I have good gut health and I don't have that issue. People that have that issue have terrible gut health. Just got my shipment from Beard Butter. And it came with a mystery oils, a mystery scent. Okay. What's the fragrance that you wore the longest ago? Could you retype that, clarify a little better? I want to make sure I completely understand what you're asking me. I want to make sure I get it right here. So kind of rephrase it a little bit for me so I know exactly what you mean because that's that could be interpreted a few different ways. Like how long the fragrance it's been the longest since I've worn? Is that what you're asking me? Because that's how it kind of comes across, but I'm not certain. So retype that for me if you don't mind. Hollister Jake. That's one you don't hear anybody say anything about. Did you ever work with Hag Hag Soap again? The Retro Style Mushroom Soap Bar was great. Yeah, I, I have like six or seven of them left still. I haven't talked to them in a long time. They, they're, I use their soap bars pretty often. I got a bunch of soap bars from them. My favorite was the, the newest version of the Aftershock, the lavender purple one. That's my favorite bar of soap ever. Ever. So much citrus and fruits and just tropical with some lavender oh my god and and it's mentholated a little bit it's got this mintiness to it man i was so sad to run out of that bar i need to get another one it's so so good they have some really good soap bars hagwood great company great artisan soap bar company for sure um their grit ones are really good for exfoliating i gotta use the coffee grit not that long ago but aftershock man aftershock's my favorite from them Uh, I don't have it. 
I have a decant. And uh, I would like to get a bottle. I've been keeping an eye out a couple different places. I know I can get it from Triple Traders, but I've been waiting for, because they just have regular Salvo from Perfume Online. I'd like to buy it from them. Um, so I'm waiting on them to get stock. Um, and then Steve, Kingdom Fragrances, he's got a bunch. He's getting access to all of Latafa's library. So I'd probably just get it from Steve, honestly, because uh, that's one of the ones I told him, make sure you get this so I can get a bottle. Yeah, I forgot about that. So yeah, I'm going to get it from Steve when Steve has all of his shipment of inventory coming in from Latafa slash Maison Alhambra. So you guys are going to see uh, even more Latafa Alhambra stuff because Steve's, Steve's going to start distributing. So you guys know that's my buddy. Full support through this channel for Kingdom Fragrances. Great prices. Awesome guy. Great service. Love working with Steve, you know. Most sentimental fragrance to me. For me personally, for nostalgic purposes, from my childhood is Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. But sentimental would be Aspen Discovery, the long discontinued flanker to Aspen. Um, cause it was two Christmases in a row. Cause my dad always bought me a fragrance for Christmas and the last two Christmases I had him, which may makes 20 years since he's been dead. He died when I was 18 and 38. It's crazy to think it's been tw two decades. Um, that's the most sentimental to me, um, more so than CK eternity, which was what he wore all the time. That an obsession. That was his two fragrances that he wore all the time. So, uh, yeah, it would be. It would be that because uh, I've bought a few of the little three quarter ounce bottles of Aspen Discovery that I just kind of have. Once in a blue moon, I spray it just for nostalgic purposes, but I just have them. I'll always have them. I don't care if they spoil. I'll, I'll just always have them. You know, that would be the most sentimental to me. Toy 2. Uh, they've been out for a little while. I'm sure they're just as good as Cremo and Duke Cannon, which are all just mediocre, cheap synthetic fragrances with some good scent profiles. You know, um, so I'm sure that's what's going on with Dr. Squatch as well. I'm sure it's of that caliber, maybe a little better. You know, I haven't tried him, so I don't know for certain. This is an assumption based off other similar brands that have made their own fragrances. Just Jack. Um, Every man Jack, I mean, uh, for example, like they're all decent fragrances, but they're not, you know, I wouldn't consider them even mid-level designers. They're kind of cheaper fragrances, you know, very synthetic. So. I would assume the Dr. Squatches are going to be similar to that. Will I get my nose on them at some point? I don't know. Maybe. They're not on my radar currently, but I know I know about them for sure. I just uh, haven't had the desire. They haven't been like, ooh, I need to try that one. It hasn't really happened. There's so much other stuff I'd rather get my nose on right now. Thanks for asking. There's a new fragrance I was excited about, but sadly I'm ill and can't smell or taste. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Kareem. Hope you feel better soon, though. 57 likes, 120 viewers. Guys, can we... Hit the thumbs up real quick. Get those likes up if you don't mind. Let's see. Just got an Hermes H24 EDP. That's speaking of ones I'd rather get. I still need to get that. That's better than the Eau de Toilette. Good surprise blind by the OG. See, I like the EDT. I've always liked the EDT. The EDP is superior, though. For sure. <laughs> there you go. LMAO. What's up, Tyler? How are you? Yes. Okay. So that's what you, that is what you meant. Um, I couldn't even tell you. I really don't know what's it has been the longest since I've worn. I really don't know. I really I, that's I don't think I can answer that. I would have to sit here and think and think and think, and I probably still couldn't come up with the answer. Lacoste Blanche Eau Fraiche sounds like a good gym fragrance. I'm sure it is. I never tried the Eau Fraiche. I have a decant of the new O Intense. Um. And it's really, really good. It's like the best one in the line. I have the EDP, I have the EDT, and I have the decan of the Intense. The Intense is great. It really is. No, I didn't pick it up. Remember I said I wasn't buying the Joma Shop stuff because I was already spending 200 bucks before taxes with um, Perfume Online. So I bought the two Gucci's um, and the two Mercedes fragrances. So it'll be about a week. We'll do a haul video. So Vetiver Sensual, maybe one day, but not two day. Yeah, it's, I couldn't even imagine. Keith, how are you? Happy St. Patty's Day to you as well. Amethyst from the House of Latafa for work. We're about to get out, so I'm putting on Intense Man. Oh, Club Dating Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. That's good stuff. 
funny how people buy programs for exercise and eating when you can just tune in this live. Ha ha. Yeah. Well, I mean, actually speaking of, I did a shoulder and trap with a post-workout vlog on the other channel. For those of you not subscribed to TLTG vlogs, put out a, another video today. It's been a little while since I did a workout video. Um, physique's changed a little bit. It's been like two months since the last time I did one. It was a chest chest day was the last time I did one. I've done other things. I've done shoe videos and some electro electronics reviews and stuff like that since the last time I did a fitness vlog. So it was it was nice to film one yesterday. Tobacco body wash coming in the mail. I haven't used that in a while. I have a bottle. I have that. I have the lotion. I went through the soap bar already. I don't like them. I, I mean, executive was good. Their version of tobacco vanilla was good like years ago, the first couple I tried. And um, even um, Crystal and Crystal Intense, their versions of Baccarat Rouge, and, and they were good at first. It's when they started doing the blends that they lost me, like the, the Elysium and Aventus blend and the Aventus and Baccarat blend, and they just smelled bad on my skin. I didn't like them. so. And this was a couple of years ago. So I kind of put them to the side and just kind of wrote them off after that. So I kind of like, eh, there's so much better clone houses out there was kind of how I looked at it. So I just kind of, I don't really mess with Alt anymore. They've asked me to collaborate since and eh, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me and remembering me, but I'm, I'm good. Cause I don't, I prefer other clones to theirs. So I'm not saying they don't have some good, they do have some that are good. Their version of Aventus was always pretty good. Um, it was really good, you know, but there's just some of the newer ones, like the blends, especially just kind of turned me off. And I was like, oh, there's a bunch of people doing this way better than that, that I'd rather support smaller houses. You're making sense, your essential obsessions and so on. So see two versions of oh, fresh current bottle and an older bottle, which is greenish yellow. Same phrase. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're even referring to, to be honest. Okay, Chad, what's going on? Just got it. Hey, that's a great cheapie right there. I was I was pretty excited to see that it's back and it's hitting the rack stores again. I saw it in Burlington the other day. It was in the most recent one of the most recent videos. It was either Burlington or Ross. It was nice to see it in there again because I think that's a great pickup for anybody starting a collection or maybe they don't want to spend the money on Eros. It's a warmer, slightly spicier Eros. Doesn't perform as well, but it was twenty bucks. Twenty bucks to get you hundred ml. It's good stuff. Need to wear that one. It's been a little while. It's been a while. Shoot. Maybe the fall is the last time I wore it. It's been a little while. Why live if you're already on EDT and EDP? Technically, yeah. But it's not quite like EDT and EDP are more redundant to one another than live is to either one. Because live smells like Invictus mixed with the EDT. So that's kind of how you can look at it. Um so not completely redundant, but I mean, there's redundancy. It's in the same line. It does have the DNA. So, but live, um, live's really good for this time of year. Great date night fragrance. If your wife likes sweeter fragrances or your girl likes sweeter fragrances, uh, which my wife loves all, all of the line. That's my wife's favorite series of blue fragrances is the YSL Y line. She loves when I wear any of the Y flankers. She's a big Yves Saint Laurent fan anyways. Some of her favorite perfumes are Yves Saint Laurent, like Libra, the original one, the Eau de Parfum. She loves. She's got a huge dent in that bottle. She's got like a third of the bottle left. Part of Luna Rosa Sport. That's actually superior to Lamal. I think it's a better take on Jean Paul Gaultier's Lamal. Come to California and send headshots to Sony for the new God of War movie. I get 5% for a finder's fee. I'd say Kratos would wear a Serge off Richwood. So put some of that on for the interview. I, I appreciate that, Spencer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not a bad thing to be compared to Kratos, I guess. What are your main lifts? Dead squats. Um, I don't have, I don't, I'm not the powerlifting type. I'm the bodybuilding type. I do bodybuilding workouts. I do deadlift. Um, and I don't do back squats that often. I do front squats, um, hack squats. I do a lot of lunges with dumbbells, uh, reverse lunges and so on, leg press and, and things like that. Um, I'm not really, cause like it, it's, I got a partially torn rotator cuff. It's one of the reasons you don't see me on a flat bench do too often because I got to really tuck my elbows low and take my shoulder out of it as much as I can because I've injured it twice on the flat bench over the years. 
So it actually hurts when I really reach back to hold the bar. So I got to use the cheat bar, I guess is what it's called, where it has the padding and the handles that come right here to do squats. Now I can do squats like that. I do rotate that in and out every couple of leg days because no two workouts back to back are the same in any muscle group for me. I always do different exercises. Um, but as far as just putting a barbell on my shoulders and squatting, I don't do that because it just hurts my shoulder too much. It's not about my back and my legs. It's my shoulder. <clears throat> so it's not a main lifts thing. Like I'm not the snatch and hang clean and all that kind of stuff. Like I'm not just hanging out at the power racks all day with some Metcons on and some, you know, knee high socks like all those guys do. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that kind of stuff every day. I'm, I'm doing variety, high volume and ancillary work i'm doing i'm doing bodybuilding style workouts bro split it's a bro split is what i do i have a chest day i have a back day shoulders and traps a leg day a dedicated cardio and core day where i usually deadlift on that day or back day i have an arm day you know what i mean i more of a bro split which is bodybuilding i have not i have not tried those yet i'll have to ask you yeah i haven't tried those yet that and the O'Fresh are the two most different from the rest. EDT, EDP, and Le Parfum are the most redundant to one another. That's the three that are the most alike. And it literally smells like you're going Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and Parfum. The other ones kind of have some twists. O'Fresh is lemon and ginger, which none of the other ones have. And then Live, like I said, has that sweet bubblegum aquatic Invictus feel mixed with Y-E-D-T. For the new Grey Vetiver Parfum to test out, unfortunately, they only gave a three-note note breakdown. That's, that's the norm now with designers. Um, I'd like to try that one. I've tried the Eau de Toilette. I've never tried the Eau de Parfum. I did like the Eau de Toilette. It, it's, it's very nice, professional, refined Vetiver fragrance. I would like to try the Parfum. One day I will. I will try the Parfum. I will get a decan at some point. That's definitely not one I'm just jumping into. Vetiver Ziffy for me. You hit me with some difficult ass questions that are uh, just, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That's, I've been buying from online discounters for years and years. I don't know. Stop asking me all these difficult ass questions. Ask some fun questions that I can answer because that, that's, that's tough. I, I really don't remember. I've been buying from places like Fragrance Net the longest. And it's been a long time I've been buying from fragrance now. A long time. To get free samples uh, in store, if you buy something at the department stores, that you can usually ask for samples. Um, as far as free samples, I don't know. I really don't know. In the department stores, usually if you buy something, they'll give you a little goodie bag of samples if you ask. Not that I know of. No, not that I know of. He's got he carries off non. Um, I don't know if he's gonna carry Paris Corner. Um trying to think who else as far as clone houses. Because it'll be Latafa and Alhambra. He's already got off non. That's all I can think of right now. Parfum, same comment over again. I haven't tried the original. Um, I have Rouge. I have Blue Edition. That's the only two I have. So I, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I, I need to get dive more into it. They have like a dozen of them at this point in that line. So, What do you think of Diorum Original, the recent release? The reformulated, Dior, the one that's actually labeled Diorum Original, I haven't smelled. Because I have... actual if I can get to the damn thing Jesus I can't reach it <laughs> I have actual Diorome before it was relabeled original um, the like 24 2011 to 2019 version I have a big five ounce bottle 5.1 ounce bottle so I have had never had a reason to try any of the new formulas. Same thing with Diorome Intense and Diorome Parfum. Like I have the older versions and a lot of it, five ounces of each of them. Like the 75 ml Diorome Parfums, I have two bottles. 
you know i have five ounces of all of the old iris ones so i really don't know i can't weigh in i've never never had a reason to because i i'll probably never go through that five ounces so i'll never try that probably unless i was to go somewhere and they had a tester and I'd be like hey let me spray it see if it's any different so i, I really don't know to be honest with you Mugler come together. You know who? What's going on? How are you? Terry Amez OG Brace. Yeah, I know I want to get that one. Joma Shop's got it right now. A little over a hundred bucks. MG, how are you? Dylan Blue, you can never go wrong. They might have some in the chat. Not me. I kind of keep the beard short enough to where I don't really mess with it. I don't have any itch or anything like that. So I don't really use any beard oils or creams or balms or anything like that. Enzo, you have a good one. Defcon one this weekend. Got a decan of Ganymede X ray today. You'll probably smell me tomorrow. There you go. Uh, nope, they never excited me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I have tried in the past one specific one is red bourbon something. And I don't even remember what it smells like. Miguel, my buddy of mine, when I lived in the Houston area, when we used to meet up and swap decants and stuff like that, he uh, he had gave me that. And, I think I still have the decan. It's probably it might be spoiled by now. Decan spoil pretty easy. Um, I think that's the only one I ever tried. I don't even really remember the scent profile to be honest with you. Yeah, like Randy was. I mentioned earlier. Randy told me about this sale at Max Aroma. I'm like, dude, I spent two hundred dollars on fragrances yesterday. I don't just spend relentlessly on fragrances. You know, I've got so freaking much between stuff coming in and me buying stuff every month. It's I don't buy everything. That's a fortune, guys. Don't buy everything. It's not that serious. That's why I do a lot more decants these days and samples and stuff like that, which I need to get some more, which Randy's been sending me a bunch of decants, so I haven't even had to buy any new releases as far as decants lately, which, Randy, if you see this, thank you. Mm -mm. Harrod Wood. Ooh, um, that's a good, great question. So I love the line. I still, my favorite one to smell is Profondo Lights still is my favorite one to wear is absolute the best all around i think is profondo but if i could only keep one it's profumo i know that's all over the place but i like the whole line I even like absolute instinct i like the whole line i have a large decant of Vicenza. like uh I, I went through my little decant of the edp i'll get a bottle eventually but I mean, if I got to pick one, it's Profumo, but, you know, Profondo is fantastic. Profondo Light smells a little bit better to me. Profondo performs better. And the dark horse that Absolute is, it's just a joy to wear because I know I'm probably the only person around wearing it anytime I wear it. So, bought Cool Water Street Fighter. I have Aquaman. It's the same fragrance, just, re, you know, different print on the bottle. But, yeah, they're decent fragrances. Got some knots in my trap and lower back abductors are locked up. Haven't been able to lift heavy in a while. Damn, that sucks. All I can do is cardio. Yeah, that sucks. Burberry for men, EDT. I haven't worn that in a long time. Yeah, the newer stuff, I don't care. Oh, so Randy is here. There you go. You haven't tried Ofresh. No, I haven't. Sadly, you're missing out on the best in line. Listening to my computer from the background. So Randy is here. There you go, guys. So I appreciate you, Randy. Uh-oh. Okay. Some bicep vein action. Just happened to catch my eye when I pulled that comment away. It was arm day today. So never catch you live. Must be my lucky day. Well, if that that's if this makes you your day lucky, well, lucky you then, I guess. I don't know. I'm glad you could be here though. Banana Republic Black Walnut Legend. I haven't reached for that in years. Years. Better late than never. Lamal Le Parfum. Sexy as fuck. Yes, it is. You do smell sexy as hell today, sir. And I don't even smell you, but I know what you're wearing, so I know you smell it. I know I agree. Sexy AF. Totally. That was featured in today's video. Hugo Boss Unlimited. That's actually super underrated. I have a 200 milliliter bottle of that. It's a fresh kind of metallic pineapple smell because it's violet leaf and pineapple with the soft woods, soft woody backdrop. It's almost a little sporty in some ways, but it's super easy to wear. It's really easy to enjoy, kind of average performance. Super underrated. Nobody, nobody talks about it. I have a big 200 ml bottle of it. It's good stuff. Good stuff. More than I'll ever need of it. So I had bought a 100 ml from Steve. He accidentally sent me a 200 ml. That's why I have 200. I didn't, 
it wasn't what I was trying to get. 100 ml would have been plenty. Now I got way more than enough. I got 200 ml. So, but it's great. It smells great. Jubilee. Oh, talking to Joel. Okay. Black spice and black vanilla. Right after Ross says criminal and others are cheap below designer. Okay, frags will get sent profile. LOL. Like, well, that's the best one. <laughs> you know, that's that's the one for sure. I mean, they have some decent ones. Ice, Citrone, and Driftwood's decent. Um, what's the other? Oh, um, Cypress and Cedar, Blue Cypress and Cedar. I've always liked that one. Like, they're decent fragrances. They're not bad fragrances. That's not what I'm saying. Just they're much more synthetic than most because they're cheaper fragrances. There's a reason they sell them at retail for $22. It's retail price. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not a bargain. That's what they sell them and market them for twenty two ninety nine. That's they're cheap ass fragrances. Some of them are some gems, you know. So order O fresh and O intense. Thanks for the info. There you go. How are you okay? Valentino Womo intense. So good. I'm gonna grab one whenever they surface. And where did you hear about that, sir? Please elaborate. Where did you hear about this? Just picked up Star Walker after your rack store vids. Hands down one of my favorite scents so far. Hold on for a sec. Sip. So that's actually a really, really good fragrance. Um, I haven't spent time with it in a while. I'm kind of saving my mega fresh stuff for when I move back to Texas, like I'm going to run out of them or something. It's, subconsciously, I think of some weird shit sometimes. Um, but the really, really fresh and bright stuff that's just so good for the humidity, which that is, kind of hoarding and not really spraying because there's no real humidity out here. The summers really aren't that bad. So I'm kind of holding on to them for when the time comes. Invictus Legend, you're, you're the best. Keep up the great content. Keith, I appreciate that. EQ, what's going on, big dog? Good to see you. Glad you could swing by. Anybody that didn't know, tomorrow it's him versus Justin. Intoxicating fragrances on the Equality Fragrances channel. Make sure you're subscribed and go, uh, go click the reminder. Excuse me, on the post. Halloween Man Hero. Why have you ever do a video? Show off your entire collection. Uh, not anytime soon. When I move is when I'm finally going to do that. Because I've been getting asked for years. And you guys just don't understand what a nightmare this is. So uh, when I move, when I go to putting everything up, we'll do a live stream or I'll record it or something like that. It'll be a long-ass live stream if I do a live stream. You think it's redundant to own Dior Homme 2020 and Dior Homme Sport? The newest version, um, not completely, but I do think the newest version, Dior Homme Sport, is better. I have a decan of that, and I have a 10 ml, the little official mini bottle that I can reach easily of Dior Homme 2020. A little mini bottle of that. Like, literally, it's a mini bottle. Dabber style. I bought it just because it came up on eBay right when it released. And I was like, wow, that's a cool looking mini bottle. It's okay. We'll put a little bit right here on my hand. Can't add them. I just dabber style. See? Smells nice, you know. It's okay. I've never been a huge fan of this. I don't know if it's the bias over the iris, the iris versions or what. But it's a lot of icy super on my skin. Very woodsy fragrance. It's grown on me a little bit. I do like it more than I used to. Oh, I'm getting behind. Smell nice performs. Polo Red Parfum is a great fragrance that doesn't smell like Polo Red. So check out me and Randy's live stream where I did first impressions on that and three other fragrances. You'll see it in the thumbnail. It's like five or six live streams ago. It's a great smelling kind of iris fragrance, but it doesn't smell like Polo Red. It doesn't. Ah. Uh, uh, who knows? Well, I mean, aside from Jamal Williams that we just signed, which some decent depth. I mean, he had a ton of touchdowns last year. 
Nope, haven't tried it. Uh, TLTG15 is the code. We'll save you 15% AEW or WWE. Right now, WWE. Since Triple H took the book, WWE's story, not all of them, but some of the storylines are more compelling. I'm a big Cody fan. Was. I left AEW with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, not completely. I mean, I still watch. I don't miss AEW. I watch NXT. I almost wore my Roxanne Perez shirt today. And I'm sure somebody would have been saying, is that a Roxanne Perez shirt? Yep. I have the the Roxanne, the, Parodi, the Prodigy Perez shirt. Uh, just had an order come in. That's why that Raise Helps. Those of you that saw some of my IG stuff today, um, that Raise Hell tank top, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin tank top that I wore to the gym today. I got an NWO tank top. I have the Monday Nitro version of this homage shirt. Didn't want to get this in the Nitro one. And then I got the Roxanne Perez shirt. So, And I got some Cody stuff a while back. I got the American Nightmare hoodie and T-shirt a couple weeks ago. So kind of up in my game. I got the Jay Briscoe shirt. Not the memorial shirt where all the proceeds went to his family right after he died. And I've already had, I've been having some AEW stuff, but I'm kind of torn between. I would say I lean more towards WWE though. Like it's Friday. I can't wait to watch SmackDown tonight. SmackDown is the show I look forward to the most. Yes, that one. Favorite Gourmand fragrances. Little Chanel, EDP, Tarkin. Bit overboard. Yeah, as long as you like it. Five ounce will never be burned. Absolutely not, sir. Absolutely not. Um, that was one of those things that they were reformulating and discontinuing so much from that line that I just said, screw it, and bought the biggest bottles I could get of all of them, just in case. And Dior Homme O got discontinued a couple of weeks later, so I was glad I did that because Dior Homme O, one of the best fresh irises ever, ever. That was one of the fragrances I took inspiration from with what I wanted to do with Business Over Pleasure. That's why it gets compared to it. So I don't understand how people compare it to Pratolome. It's not soapy, but Dior Homme O, yeah, I took a big inspiration from that because it's one of the best fresh irises. Um, I didn't want it to smell just like that, but of that style. The same job that could do was kind of what I wanted Business Over Pleasure to do. I wanted more complexity with the similar style. And that's pretty much what Business Over Pleasure came out to. What's good, Dior Homme 2020? Good, but no iris. Yeah, it's, it's decent. It's a woody fragrance. Smells nice. Fragrance that has OG Ray for 95 bucks right now. There you go. One of your old videos showed on my timeline from about three years ago. Big upgrade on the audio. I appreciate that. We have this, it's this Elgato Wave 3 microphone, you know, um, which I have a Comica onboard mic that I don't have on my camcorder right now. I have some a purple panda lapel mic. Like I have a variety of options for audio. I have a Comica. Um, road mic, like road style mic for my phone that attaches to the bottom with boom and everything on it. The, the, um, the, uh, the hell's it called? Whatever. The, the little filter that goes on the top of it. And like, I have real nice mics for my phone, even not just my camcorder, which we're on the camcorder. I stopped using the Logitech webcam because it never wants to focus easily for me. Whereas I can do this right now. It's going to focus. See, see how quick it focused <laughs> and the quality is better even though it's only streaming at 720p it's picking up at 4k 30 frames per second and then down it's downgrading the image to 720p so it's coming in the inlet image is much much higher quality than what's actually being transmitted let's see iconic blue i think so. it's my favorite of the newest club in and we flankers I really don't pay them any mind. I don't really go to Macy's much anymore. I, I really don't because I don't feel like dealing with the reps, to be honest with you. Now, when I go to a Neiman Marcus or somewhere like that, that's different because they're more, much more educated on the brand that they're selling. Whereas at the designer counters, most of them really don't know what the hell they're talking about. They just have a job, not passion for what they're selling, you know. Whereas when you're selling something that's four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a bottle, you should know your product. That's why it's more of a pleasure to deal with the luxury brand reps that work their counters. They know their product, you know. 
you can have an educated conversation about the fragrance. It's not a, I know way more than you kind of thing. Like it is with most of the Macy's reps and stuff like that. You know, but you're glad to be out of the car business. Definitely in the right business. Now keep up the good work. My friend first name. Interesting. I appreciate you. Oh, I five high, mid five figures. I would think. I completely agree with you on everything you said about Optimus. I'm the exact same way. I hope they do. Do a new car off flanker. Car off flanker. I think you meant something else. What's up, all the TJIF and St. Patty? What's going on, Alan? How are you, Ross? Which top three designer houses when it comes to fragrances? Um, it's hard not to say Dior because I have a lot of stuff that I enjoy from Dior. So I'm gonna go with Dior's designer lines, not their private lines. Designer lines. Um, hmm. It's tough to narrow it down to just three. Definitely because I, I want to kind of lump in Armani as a whole because Emporio Armani, Giorgio Armani, and then Armani because I have fragrances from all three lines. Kind of lump Armani in together and Azaro. I really like Azaro. They got a lot of good stuff to offer. So I think those three are pretty easy because um, it's hard to not leave out Yves Saint Laurent though because got a lot of YSL fragrances from a few different lines. So I'm going to go with four, those four which that has me leaving out Prada, Dolce and Gabbana. Like there's, I like a lot of designers. I do, you know, no denying it. I do go in nuclear 10, four. I was in a beast mode. I've never tried tuxedo, just all the different clones. Smells almost niche or niche quality. Hmm. I mean, most people would say Bentley Intense because it does smell pretty high quality. But let's see if I can come up with a better answer than that. Hmm. It's tough. That's tough because not even a Blue de Chanel Parfum smells niche quality because niche isn't a quality. Niche is a targeted audience. That's what niche is. We're a niche. The live streaming community within the fragrance community is a niche within a niche. Fragrance community is a niche. Niche fragrances, that term gets thrown around very incorrectly all the time because niche isn't a quality level. You know, it's a grouping. Let's see. It's tough. I would have to say something like, because uh, Happy Land, they, they're bona fide cheapies. I would say, Something like any one of the Happy Land fragrances, I, I would think. Four nine this morning went with one by night. Could Kratos wear up? Uh, who knows? Something very smoky and ashy. Just picked up Spice Bomb Infrared from Norsen Rack. Excellent. Watched the review in line. Decided to pick it up. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a very good fragrance. Supposedly an Eau de Parfum flanker is what's coming this year, and I'm here for it. I will get it at full retail without hesitation. So 92 likes, 126 viewers. Can we get eight more likes? Get over 100 likes, guys. Appreciate all of you being here. It was looking my and look, that was only four sets in. You should see the pump from when I was doing the tricep rope for the real video, the reels video for either one of my IG accounts, or it's a shorts video on the TLTG Vlogs channel. I shared it in my community page on this channel too, though. So there's a link to it, but you should see that's the pump before I switch. That was the last second, the last set before I switched to triceps. That was at the end of my bicep workout. I really had a pump then, <clears throat> but thank you. I don't know. I've never tried Hawthorne fragrances. What is Coco Loco? I don't know. Coco Loco, the smoothie shop. I didn't know they had a smoothie shop called Coco Loco. Someone's in trouble. Coco Loco, yes, do tell. Someone told him that shouldn't have him. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What do you think of Reflection 45? Well, I only sprayed it one time. It's much more woodsy and earthy than the original. I kind of like the original more. I have the little X-Straight Collection Discovery Set. 
that has it, and I have a bottle of the original Reflection Man. I kind of like Reflection Man more. It's more floral. It's got a more freshness to it. Uh, I wore it. I've worn it about a dozen times. And it's it's all. If you watch the weekly rotation, you've seen it a bunch of times. <laughs> so, any more for a deeper feel? Same feelings from the last like six, seven times I've talked about it. Same feelings, man. It's it's great for ten dollars. Bright, fresh leather. You know, very woodsy. Supposedly oud in there. Don't believe that. There's a little bit of woody feel though. It smells like the ocean. I have a decan of that somewhere. It's been a while since so I've smelled it. I remember enjoying it, but I don't remember it specifically. I want to say there's like a smoky note in there, too. I haven't worn that in a long, long, long time. I don't even remember the scent. I have a bottle. It just kind of sits there. Let me separate cheapies from higher price bottles. When the cheapies damn near smell better or up to par, that is not true. I found myself looking for good cheapies more than high-end. Yeah, if, if you can put the cheap clone next to the high-end luxury fragrance and tell me the cheapie smells better or up to par uh, i don't know what to tell you man I, we smell different things because uh none of the clones encompass the magic or the quality like take any raja parfums clone and put it next to the raja parfums original it is not the same it is not i'm sorry it is not the same <laughs> and that goes for any of these high-end niche fragrances when you get to the clone out in the area, they smell great. A lot of them, they look, I'm, I'm all for them. It's all good. But you put the real deal side by side with it, and there's a glaringly obvious difference of quality. Yes, because where these expensive ones are being perfumed and who they're being perfumed by versus who's perfuming and the oils that are being curated for the clones are different. The level of perfume artistry different as well so there's difference there is difference i'll argue with anybody that wants to argue with me about it. i have no problem anybody wants to come at me about it and i'm not i don't mean you i'm just because there's people that are going to be offended by me saying this and i'm not here to protect feelings i'm here to give my opinion whether rough honest or favorable my opinion which anybody that has a sizable niche collection will be with me on that one for sure because I'm sorry, man. Look, at if you enjoy the clones, for sure. But it's damn near smell better or up to par. I can't agree with that sentiment, man. That's No. <laughs> no, none of them. None of them are up to par with being the same. Scent profiles can be locked down, but quality is a different playing field. I guess cheap is relevant based on your pocketbook, just like anything else. I agree. That's fair for me. It's sub $50 USD and below. That's what I consider cheap. I consider affordable in the $50 to $90 range. That's in that affordable range to me. Nope, I get asked every single live stream. I have not. I have not. Not yet. I don't. I don't think they do discount codes, just like Kingdom Fragrance. The only, the only thing you can get is with the niche stuff in the Castle Collection. You can get 15% off Kingdom Fragrances. With Aura Fragrances, I don't believe they do codes because when it comes to rock bottom prices like that, they don't have any room. They're not making big profits to where they could discount it more. That's how they move volume. They make just a little bit off every bottle. I used to have a decan of it. It's it's bet. I like it better than Interlude 53. I like it better than Interlude, but not enough to get a bottle. I don't like any of the three versions of Interlude enough to get a bottle. It's just not the scent profile for me, even the one with Iris. Believe it or not, it's just something about it. Like it's it's nice. Honestly, I would rank it that way. Like Black Iris, then 53, then the original as to the levels of how I like them. But the probability of me ever getting a bottle is pretty low because they just don't strike me as something I'll ever reach for. I'll just buy it and have it pretty much, which I got a ton of stuff that I like more that I kind of bought and just have because I've got too much fragrance. I've got too many fragrances, you know, got too many. Almost every time. Ultra Red Man. That's a good one. I sure do. I sure do remember Rick the Model Martel. Montal Wooden Spice is excellent choice. Top three. Uh, definitely At the Barbers is my favorite from Replica. I'm going to go with Authenticity Parfums Barbershop. That will be my number two. 
And then mm, number three is tough because there's I got a ton that could go number three. I would say Kajal Ferris falls into barbershop because it's spicy aromatic. So Kajal Ferris, that'll be my top three. Disorder Profumo and Oud for Glory. Unique Flanker. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Yeah, Unique Flanker would be nice. It would be nice. Because the EDP was kind of it's nice, but it's like that. The the collector in me for loving the line is gonna buy a bottle and I'll wear it, but it's like I like the other ones more. It smells like a little bit of profondo sprinkled into the original. I've I've said it in the video, you know. It's nice. It's just not it's not the best one, not the best flanker to me. Not even top three. Ten four. Your fragrance I bought Belk is overpriced and doesn't last when you spray it on. Also, what do you think about supremacy in oud? It is fantastic. I have it sitting right over there. This was sitting next to it on my rotation table. I'm wearing not only intense today. It's my scent of the day. Um, it doesn't smell exactly like oud for greatness. It's got a little bit more saffron going forward. It's got more of a Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe, I think, than oud for greatness. But I prefer it. It makes me not want any other oud for greatness clone. I think it's great. Bought me three weeks ago. New Man Sarah fragrance, 20 red tobacco. Love it. Real monster. And oh yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Smoothie shop in Aurora called Coco Loco. Okay. Um gotta have my creatine. I have my creatine every day. Sure. Well, we got a special guest going to be making an appearance. This was unexpected. So um, I got to have my creatine. I got the red one, Redcon one, micronized creatine. Total War and Big Noise, the non stimulant pump formula, and my pre workout. No secret, I use Redcon one products. You see guys see me wearing Redcon one hoodies and t shirts and hats and stuff all the time. Big fan of the brand. I am affiliated. I get very few things for free. I buy 90%. Of my stuff, but I do have an affiliate link for them. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I use a lot of Redcon One stuff, and right now my whey isolate protein that I'm using is a uh, Redcon One Isotope. I have the chocolate peanut butter flavor, Bohemian Lime, Off Brand Cocoa Puffs. I invite you to revisit that one. Absolute masterpiece, super versatile. Best smelling postal workers back at it. Not sure if you're interested. Fragrance Buy has 1 million royal, 50 ml for $72. That's pretty cheap. For a brand new release, that's pretty cheap. Niche, you get niche. But you pay niche too. That's very true. When you get a Zerg off, you pay for it. You get one of the best fragrance houses on the market. You smell quality, definitely. For sure. For sure. That's my argument. In my opinion, some clones I like better than the original, but. Uh, based on how it smells to me, not about the actual quality, etc. All comes down to what makes you happy. And so, yeah, for sure. So I'm saying I'm not knocking it, but to say they smell the same, they're up to par with the originals. Nah, I definitely don't see that. And I have a gentleman that I think would agree with me very much so on that statement. Mr. EQ from Quality Fragrances. What's going on? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Peace, everybody. Peace. What's going on with you? Oh man, I can't complain. You caught me. You caught me right before. We'll go a little bit longer because I usually do about an hour. But now that I got you, we'll, we'll hang out for a little while. Yeah, I just got off the phone with Justin. We, you know, we clicked up, we vibed up. You know, we got our thing going on tomorrow. And um, yep. you know, the same way I talked to you, I, I started this off because I wanted to bring on people who I respect. I respect you as you know. It's you shown me great love. I, I can't say it enough. Um, but I'll say it on your platform in case people didn't didn't um catch on like Ross has shown me love since I had probably under a thousand followers and you didn't do that because you was trying to gain clout points or views. No, I just liked you. You just we just rock. So yeah. so I appreciate that. I don't know how other people feel but I rock with you for that. Justin, I, he's intelligent, smart, um cerebral, thoughtful, very, very very culture and in in the brothers thoughtful and I like, you know, people who think a lot cuz I tend to Think about a lot of things as well. So yeah, I just got off the phone with the brother. Tomorrow is going to be extremely fun. But uh, let me—it's not about me. It's about you, bro. What you talking about today? Talking man, about I, I'm, I'm gonna be watching. No, it, just random Friday fragrance chat, man. I didn't have a specific topic in mind. I usually try to have a topic to center the stream around, but I just wanted to jump on and just chat with people. You know what I mean? 
it's uh, I had a little free time. I figured why not? As soon as I saw you, it's it's promotional time. Everybody needs to watch. You know? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's listen, man, it, it ain't even about that. As I told people, it ain't for me. No, it, I just I automatically yeah. go into it like you want to watch this tomorrow. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, it, it's it's gonna be fun, people. For those who haven't caught one, it's about a celebration. It's a battle. It's about respect. It's about enjoying what we love. Bringing the enjoyment back to it. We get bogged down, as I was telling Justin. We get bogged down into just your rudimental top tens. And to be honest, y'all, you know, if you could get frustrated with the same old, same old, I'm going to be honest and upfront with you. Y'all have to somewhat look at yourselves for that, right? And I'm not going to blame you on everything, but y'all, if you want to see something, if you support it, that's what's going to happen. You know, if you're telling us that you only want pepperoni pizza, if I come in and saying, no, nah, I'm going to sell you salmon, that's really just not a smart business model. Yeah. It doesn't make much sense. So if you want salmon, you have to support salmon. But if you want pepperoni pizza, just know you're going to get a lot of it. It's going to be oversaturated. <laughs> and you're going to get different cuts, some, some thin crust, some thick crust, some pan, some over cheese, some margarita, like, just know that's what you're going to get. So, you know, support the content, support the people who you really rock with, who the direction you really want to see. Support Ross. Hit that like button if you haven't hit that like button yet. It extremely helps the channel. He's a hardworking man. Um, you know, you, I've, I've seen you blow up. I've seen you go from where you were in front of the TV to where you are now, bringing new content, but also giving the people what they want. And what they want <laughs> is what they ask for. They nobody can't be mad at you for that. It is what it no, is. No, I, I try to give the variety, man. I, I try to stick to the individual reviews still because that's the core of where this started years and years ago when people started doing fragrance reviews on YouTube. But if I was to just do that, the channel would not survive and grow and get to where it is now. It goes mm. back to what you were just saying about if you want pepperoni pizza and you show you want pepperoni pizza, you're going to get a slew of pepperoni pizza, which Absolutely. is the top tens. It's the gene pepperoni pizza is generic, chocolate chip cookies generic. That's the point. These aren't memorable and timeless videos, but it's if 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 that's what the audience naturally gravitates to and that's what gets the most views, that's what most people are going to focus on. Because when it comes to a monetized channel, whether anybody wants to admit it or not, they're going to chase what's going to make more money. Mm. And if the lists are going to be what makes more money monetarily, that's the majority of the content you're going to get. Some channels only do that. They only right. they want to do shit that ain't a list. Well, yeah. well, check this out. Here's the other flip side. We're going to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get into it on here, right? Why, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's get into it. It's, it's at the end of the day, you know, I was talking to Justin about this and I don't want to go too in depth because I want to have a panel kind of to have this conversation. But people, y'all are being programmed. I don't want to say manipulated. I don't want to call you sheep. But a lot of times you're being programmed. And I'm going to tell you how and I'm going to prove to you the steps how you've been programmed. Six years ago, our moth was really the king of clone fragrances. Everybody mm -hmm. had them. Everybody talked about them. They were kind of so-so. That and the Insurrection, a couple of Rassasis. But mm -hmm. then your Alexandria's and Duas came out. But they came out by working with influencers and giving out bottles. And mm -hmm. you were seeing an influx of that on your FYP, for your our page. Remember that? Remember that? that yeah, our films, yeah, and that's one thing you see. I talk about that a lot on my IG chat on my IG page. There was a point where every top 10 was Parfums Vintage, and I'm gonna tell y'all how programming works. So I give out bottles to the best reviewers because I think it makes for good um promotion. Nobody's going to print anymore to sell something. We are the new TV, let's be clear. We are the new entertainment. YouTube is the new entertainment. So I send out bottles to the highest influencers. Mm -hmm. And then after I do that, what happens is they do reviews, they get the views. Well, then it's the other reviewers who don't have that power, but they say, I want to chase those views. So let me go out and buy that bottle so I can also review that as well. So what happens on your FYP and up and down, you get told, on everything you look, par from vendor, par from vendor, par from vendor. So you go out and buy and it. All and size channels. On all size channels. Yep. Because the smaller channels are chasing the bigger channels to get the numbers because they're saying, oh, Curly talked about this. I got to get working. it. Let me try it. it. Right. Let me try it. Let me talk about it. Let me see if it's good. <laughs> and it's it's a programming thing. And you see this with Latafa. 
you know, it, it's no surprise how Latafa got here. Look, Fragrance. the reason I started talking about him and, and trying him and stuff like that, because the audience was asking me, you should try it, you should try it, you should try it. So when I started doing it, it's like, you know what, they are pretty good. And they're like, oh, now try this one, now try this one. You guys are asking for it, so that's what I'm giving you. You know yeah. what I mean? But, you, but people ask, how does it flood into the game? It floods because a discounter, I have them, they'll cheap. have so much inventory for cheap, they'll say, hey, influencer who I work with, I got a couple of bottles of this fragrance. It smells like this. Why don't you just try it out? See if you like it. The big influencers will talk about it. Y'all like cheap, affordable fragrances. And I'm, I'm going to say affordable fragrances. I don't like the word use the word cheap because it is has a derogatory connotation. So you like affordable fragrances. So y'all view it. And then what happens? Smaller channels say, uh-oh, that's getting some buzz. Let me also buy that and talk about it. So now as a consumer of entertainment, Everywhere you look, this fragrance is being talked about, and you're like, oh, I got to have it. There's no secret that, you know, Bodicea doesn't get talked about a lot. Not because it's overly expensive, because Raj is expensive, but it's because they don't give out free bottles. If That's a fair point. If they gave out free bottles, your FYP would be flooded with it, and then clone companies would clone this fragrance. That's a fair point. It, you know, so it's all programming. It's good. I'm not mad because it's business, but the consumer needs to understand the business that's happening within it. So I wore that yesterday. That is a good fragrance. I hate when I see people shitting on it. It's actually a solid, fresh fragrance. It really is. It? is. it is. It is. Now, look, somebody that's like you probably might not like it because you have a, a more expensive taste. You probably wouldn't like it. But people that like the cheapies and the des the de yeah, the designers and stuff like that, right. it's actually a bit different from your run of the mill everyday blue fragrance because of the peach and apricot and the florals and everything. It's actually pretty mm. nice. I literally wore it yesterday. My wife loves it, so it, it kind of it's disappointing because it gets a lot of troll activity because they right. give out free bottles and stuff. Right. Anytime there's free bottles given out, there's troll activity. And then like here's an interesting comment. Nick Ali says we're programmed because these YouTubers are sellouts. Not well, everybody's a sellout. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, no, no. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I like that. I we like can. that. I like that energy. Mm -hmm. I love it. See, man, listen. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna let y'all. A lot of people type. I want y'all to really come on, and let's get busy with it. Let, if we're gonna have a real conversation, let's not do get Twitter on camera and talk about let's it. Let's get on I'm camera and talk about it. Yep. I'm. I'm gonna bring all the smoke. And we're going to really get into it. But let's talk about free bottles. So the other day I was on, I'm in part of Jensen's fragrance group and a few other fragrance groups. Mm -hmm. And what's funny to me is there's some app out there for influencers that Influencer. if you do, right, you get free yeah. bottles. Do you know that there were people in that group saying, oh, I was writing up this review because I want free bottles. So what that really told me is free bottles is really not an issue for you. It's the jealousy of it. It's really the issue. Because if that was the case, the majority of people who were saying they was getting on the app who don't even have YouTube channels. Well, that's what I was going to say. The funny thing is all the people I've been seeing posting about Boss Bottle Pacific and Polo Red Parfum that are getting it through that. Mm. They don't have YouTube channels and IG pages where they're reviewing stuff. They're just viewers that are like, oh, I can get a free bottle. If I write a review, let me go sign up and do that. Right. That's and a lot of the posts I've been seeing because they're saying, hey, just got this from Influencer. And, and, and so, and that's the part that is like, well, then free bottles isn't your issue. The issue is that you can't get, again, people, there's a few things. Let me, let me, let me give them a, a, a hit them with it. Let, let, let me give them a taste of the cypher. cypher yeah, here, let, let, let me, let me, let me give them a disclosure. One, if you think that I really care about the bottles, the likes, the views, I'm the same person who will disappear for seven months. If you've been following me, I'm the person that in every year, Mar in March, in every year, every in year. March, in March of last year, in April of last year, I said, hey, let me be consistent because Big Bear Business did a video a long time ago about if you want to gain your numbers, you got to have consistency. For those two months, I gained a thousand new subs for the month of March, I believe, in the month of April. And then I disappeared. Yep. Killed you Literally man. after gaining. So if you think that's it. That's one, then you're foolish. Two, 90% of everything behind me, um, $1,000 bottles, everything else I got behind me, I pay for them myself. So let's be clear, I have no motive in this. I don't give a crap about, I always tell people, I don't really call myself an influencer. I'm a fra fragrance critic. Um, 
I think because, critic's a good term for you. Yeah, because I really don't care if you buy it or not. Because if there's, if there's a situation where there's smoke, you'll bring the fire to make sure there's smoke sometimes. I'm not saying it's all yeah. the time, but like you you don't hesitate if you need to go in. Oh, I'll, I'll go, go in. in. I'll, you know? I'll tear yeah. a company, I'll tear a company up. So so I'll say that. But when you, you said something, you said I might not like Blue Atlas. I did an IG post today. If you're not following me on, on my IG, you should. Make it um, make sense. Yeah, serious. make it make it make sense. Mm -hmm. The thing is this. Once you realize 90% of all fragrances, let's be honest, in the chat, in the chat right now, don't tell me what you would spend your money on, but from the things you smell, am I right or am I wrong? 90% of everything smells good. Very most few, stuff does. Most things smell good. Most everything smells good, right? So yeah. I, there's very few fragrances I smell and say, mm, that just a nauseated me now Coumarin or something right. like that yeah, Coumarin. clove you know what yeah. I mean? something like that but that's a that was not meant to be mass appealing in the first place something like that right and and some people can't stand like i know sebastian can't stand aquatics cologne so if a fragrance has that he's just not gonna gonna like it For sure. and some people and you don't like vetiver so certain vetivers, certain vetivers. Just, it doesn't work for me at all if it's a really earthy like vetiver sultan right Stuff like that, I can't do it. it smells terrible mm. on me. Most tear the MS smells terrible on me. Mm. Can't do it. Yeah, and to me, I think it's a masterpiece, right? So most it, people do. Yeah, most so so when you talk about a blue fragrance and people saying, Well, blue atlas, and I haven't tried it, people. I, I haven't, so I can't speak to the composition of it, but I'll say this. If if you're a company in the chat, if you're a company, I, I, I want these people to come on because I, I really want to ask real questions. Not be disrespectful, but I want real questions. If you are a company, you have a business expense. I'm real big on understanding tax law, business, money, moving money. I'm good at it. So the question is, if you have a business, how do you go about getting your business out? If you are not working with influencers in 2023, this is modern day marketing. It's it's the most cost efficient way to market your product. It it really is. And and for people to be mad because somebody's giving out bottles, um, they should. That's they've been doing it forever. If it was to the big magazines like Vogue, and then they paid a lot for that. Now it's just like, hey, influencer, hey, I seen your channel. I like what you do. I would like to send you a bottle and tell me what you think about it. That's mostly how it goes. Mo don't get me wrong. There's people. <laughs> there was this one fragrance I reviewed. I was like, it smells like deaf and old people. <laughs> and, and they and and, and they unfollow me on Instagram. And it is what it is. But it smelled like it smelled like rigor mortis. <laughs> it smelled, it smelled like an old lady in, who was hoarding books. And died in the basement, and, and it really did smell that way. But again, if companies aren't, some companies don't do it. Bodicia doesn't send it. Mm -hmm. But if they did, that would just be good business. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Now, what it's going to come down to is, do you believe the people who you are watching anyway? That's what I was going to bring up next. I saw Rick RXL. A lot of you know who RXL is on a live stream the other day. Mentioned it doesn't bother him at all when people get free bottles because. And this is logical thinking, and I can appreciate that. If you've been watching someone for a while, you should know if they're full of shit or not. Mm. If you've been following somebody or like I'm going to use myself as an example, 62,000 whatever subscribers, I would like to think by now, if you've watched any number of videos from me, you can tell I'm genuinely feel these certain ways because you can see when I'm lukewarm. You can mm. see when I'm turned off. You can see when I'm really excited. You would know if I'm being full of shit or not. Like I said, I'm going to use myself as an example. And I thought that was an interesting point that he made that it's a good thing because it's opportunity for more content to get more opinions out there from people that you trust to get their opinion. As long as people are being straight up with you, I, I'll never understand the issue. I'll never understand it. Yeah, don't don't get me wrong now. Now, <laughs> trying to figure out how I'm going to word this. There's, there's There can be gentleness some people are gentle some people aren't i'm not as gentle <laughs> but yeah there, there's there's a there's a respectful there's a tattoo, way to there, trash there's, there's a respectful you know? way of and to be honest most things aren't going to get trash again it yeah. goes back to 90 percent of all things smell good most things aren't going to get trash but for sure um 
there, there are some people who, and this is why I say I'm for the people. I'm not trying to buy, you know, if, you, if you're not following me, I'm not asking you to. But I always say I review for the consumer. Well, because I am a consumer, right? And, and part of that is saying, let me see if I got anything on my table that's similar. Part of me is saying a fragrance I love, like um, London Oud, right? I, I told mm. people I love this fragrance. I paid for this fragrance, my own money. It wasn't sent to me, although they send bottles out. But I told people the scent profile is pedestrian. It smells like a mixture of Aqua Diageo and Chanel Platinum Eagle Weiss, right? But when you take I I like that, when you <laughs> take that that basic composition, but you add the most exquisite ingredients, it just takes it to another level. In my opinion, I'm not telling you to buy it, but some things are it's the tap dance some companies don't want you to say it smells like something else me i'ma say and there have been times i watch people smell something that i be like that smells like i don't know green iris tree and they tap danced around saying that so then the consumer i see this more on instagram than anything and it's like mm -hmm. this is a great fragrance this fragrance is fantastic and like this fragrance uh petra by mask milano um i've seen this a couple times on Instagram, people are like, oh, this is fruity and it's leathery and it's musky. And it's all this dance around terminology that sounds good, but they forget to tell you that this smells like Coco Mademoiselle mm -hmm. <laughs> from Chanel. You just get Coco Mademoiselle if you want it on a budget. But, yeah, it's cheaper. But some people, but it's better ingredients. So mm -hmm. as a reviewer, I want to let you know, hey, this smells like Coco Mademoiselle. If you already have it, I don't want you to buy it unless you want multiple bottles of it, but it does have a better quality. I just want you to know that everybody's everybody's not doing that. I see it a lot on Instagram more than on YouTube. So I get the the I get the frustration with the viewer. I'm gonna be honest, I, Ross, I get it. I get the frustration with because it. it's one of those things where I refuse to work with anybody if they're not cool with me being me. That's the stipulation. That's my immediate response. If I get it, let's say I get an email from a company. I'm going to check them out first and foremost. Before I say a word, I'm going to go check out the website, check out the products, whatever. <clears throat> Do a little research before I even respond. And if I think it's something that either A, the audience would be interested in or something I'm even interested in, that's my response. I have a pretty much standard reply with, if you're not okay with everything about what happens in my video being just me flowing, we need to not move forward from this point. It's not going to work. I won't be dictated to on talking points or right. it's just not going to happen. And I've had people walk away from it and I've had a bunch, like anytime you see me work with somebody, they're cool with it. Cause so first and foremost, before I get into the comment, I want to pin James said, I like bros energy. Who is he? Would love to check him out and subscribe. This is EQ from Equality Fragrances. Definitely go check out Equality Fragrances. He has a Versense battle, top 10 intoxicating fragrances with Justin tomorrow night on his channel. Well, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I guess 2 p.m. Central Western. I don't know. I don't know time zones, people. It is what it is. Y'all know how to Google. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, me and um, uh, Stay, Mr. Stay Fresh Productions himself is going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one battle um, against the top 10 most intoxicating fragrances. So... Check it out. If you haven't checked the other battles out, that's also in my live section. But anyway, go ahead. You you was on something. So with this one from John Carlo, he said, apparently there's a current scandal about dossier paying reviewers for positive reviews. I've been doing collaborating with them for over two years. And anybody that watches my dossier videos, I bitch 10 ways to Sunday if there's bubbles in the labels. I've shit mm. on their version of Mont Blanc Legend saying it's ridiculous just by Mont Blanc Legend. They're cool with that. So whoever is agreeing to pot being paid for a positive review with dossier just needs to grow a sack grow a set because they can take the criticism that's one of the reasons i've collaborated with them for so long right is they they're cool with the criticism because they would have stopped working with me years ago if that was the case because now most of the time like you said it goes back to 90 percent of fragrances smell good right 85 90 percent of the dossier videos i've done are positive but there's that 10, 15%, which at this point is, you know, handful plus of videos where I had very unfavorable things to say, whether about the scent profile and multiple times about bubbles in the labels, because that, that quality control thing is a pet peeve of mine. Mm. Um, so, so this scandal, I, this is the first I'm hearing of it, but because I collaborate with them, I wanted to make it a point to say something about that, that whoever is doing that, mm -hmm. 
very dishonest and that's not okay. And that makes all that groups everybody in together and makes everybody look bad. So if anybody watching this is guilty of what he's talking about, get your shit together because it's not okay. Here's my it's other thing. Okay. I'm here's my other thing. So <clears throat> and and I say what I'm about to say absolutely respectfully. I mean no disrespect to anybody. So I want to start by that way. Um there's a lot of he said she said now I'm old school for sure. We we and 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 I might be I might be <laughs> archaic in this, but like we let the women gossip, right? So I don't speak on things that I don't know to be fact. I don't know that to be fact or not. And this is why when I really really dive into what me and Ross talking about now, I'm going to let people come on. If if you have facts, say it. But don't as men don't tell me he said she said. That's yeah, that's my, hearsay for me. That's my, the first time my, hearing it. Yeah, my children do that. It. My elementary children do that. And I'm not, this isn't directed at you, brother, because I really see this a lot in Facebook groups. So this, trust me, mm -hmm. brother, it, this ain't directed to you. I don't know you. And um, I'm sure you're no, supporting the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. So I just want to make that clear. But it's it's in this game, it's too much he said, she said. Yeah. And too much. If you know something, just say it. If you're going to speak on it, Put a name, put a face to it. Let's not beat around the bush. Say so and so, 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 so and so. That really disappoints me if that is indeed what's happening. Right. That really disappoints because, like I said, they they can take it. I've never, never had them dictate to me about we'd like you to say this. Please only say thing. Never once. Not I wouldn't be working with them still. Right, right. But I and think if they some, couldn't take it. They would have stopped working with me a long time ago. But I think what <laughs> some people listen, man. If you're a viewer. I understand one, I empathize with you. I understand the um the frustration with watching reviewers. And mm. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me let me talk to my guys. Let me let me resonate with them real quick. Um, I understand because far too often I've been told or I've seen people say something smells fantastic and how great it is, only to find out it's a Ventus clone. That's just an example, right? And yeah. then I get pissed the hell off because I'm like, I already got two Aventus clones. I don't need a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, or a seventh. 30th like I yeah. do. Don't, bro. <laughs> I, part of your review to me, if it smells like something, you better tell me. Say it. If, if you if you tiptoe dance around that, I'm not rocking with you. I can't I can't trust you. And, and I've seen this. I've seen this. I've seen this on IG. I've seen this on YouTube. I've, I've seen it. So... Mm -hmm. So the frustration that the consumer, the audience has is absolutely valid. And I'm never going to discredit that because I'm not going to say that it's fraudulent, but it's almost like this. I call them Fragcom reviewers. There are Fragcom reviewers. Some of us may have been those reviewers when we first came on. What is a, Fra a Fragranica reviewer? What is that? This is a Fragranica reviewer. I see it on TikTok. Okay, let me go on Fragranica real quick. Uh... All right, Creed Aventus has pineapple, has birch and stuff. Okay, okay. All That's right, I'm ready. I'm ready to review. So what you get in the opening, all right, it says this is the top. You get this juicy pineapple. Hold get, on, this is great. On, let, me, let me do it. Hold on, hold on. I, I got to do this, right? So you, you get on there, you get on Frag Granica, you be like, all right. And unfortunately, what you don't know is Frag Granica is wrong. This is when it really gets exposed. When you're describing what you're smelling and Frag Granica has been wrong, because you can go to other profumo or you can go to the actual the brand a lot of the, the brand and, it's, and it has none of these notes but this yeah. is what it is okay fried granica says it's a top it's a lavender and mid okay all right all right bet i'm, I'm ready all right go what you get is this juicy pineapple in the top <laughs> i can smell this green apple accord so i get a lot of the rose i know nobody I, yeah, else really yeah, does yeah I get yeah, a lot yeah. Of the rose. oh and then we go into the mid and in the mid let me see the mid says on fragranica it has this in the mid i get some birch it's kind of <laughs> smoky right now 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 now, here's the thing oh with that. Here's the thing with that. And I'm going to be honest, people. This is the thing with that. If a fragrance is well blended and and really, really, like, done to perfection, I'm just holding this bottle up, people. Yeah. I, I don't want to start the Creed event to see, the, you know, yeah. Club Day New Intense Man Battle the on, 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 the, on this platform. <laughs> but but, but if, if, if the fragrance is really, really well blended, unless it's simplistic, like uh, Guerlain Gourmand Conquin, right? This is rum. Rose, chocolate, mm -hmm. some cinnamon, some spices. It's fairly linear. It, it doesn't really transition as much, so you don't have to really 
worry about something like this. I get that. But if it's really well blended, this has um uh darling D Gabor has like 30 notes. If you come on there and tell me you smell 20 of them, I'm gonna call you full of full of shit, right? Yeah. Because what you really end up getting is accords. 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 You end up getting accords. Mm-hmm. And that's just and look, that's most Raja Parfums fragrances because there's so many notes, it's really hard to pick notes out. Yeah, hold on one second. Really hold hard. on. Talk talk about yourself. Hold on. <laughs> so the thing I was going to say when he was getting into it is Andrea actually a few years ago made a video like that. And she literally did like this. I'm ready for the review. <laughs> like, because that's how a lot of people have done it. over the, And TikTok, I'm not trying to throw shade at a bunch of people on TikTok. I'll just come across these random pages where they have the For Grantica note breakdown pinned on the, on the screen like he's talking right. about. And it looks like they're literally walking down the note pyramid with what they're saying. Yeah, so I and, know exactly what you're talking. About. I've seen it too. That's yeah, and, and, it's, and it's just describing it. And like for instance, this is a, a must-have spring fragrance for me in summer. I think this is a great creation. I think Hermes makes great. But uh, what is it? Givry? Oh, Giv- I'm just, what I'm saying. That's, I know you- that's my favorite one. That's the one I like. I'm gonna get a bottle of it. What what is now? It has different notes. What this really is about is grapefruit. <laughs> You will yep. say, well, equality. There's no grapefruit here. Oh, contrary. Smells like it though. You you have you have uh what what's the note? What's the uh, citron? The citron, citron, yeah. The citron, but there's also another note. This spice that has a grapefruit feel to it. So when what happens is that a grapefruit accord is made. This is like three notes. Is what you're gonna get. You're gonna. I don't care how many notes in the fragrance pyramid. You're only getting three: grapefruit, woods, water, mineral. That's it. What is mineral? I don't know, a little bit watery, salty, slightly, almost smells like uh, the ground after it rains. A wet rock. Yeah, the ground, the semen after it rains. That's yep. what you get. So that's all this is. If you try to tell me, ah, oh, you get this beautiful citron accord that, that smells, hold on, let me see what citron smells like. Okay, Um. yeah, the smell, bro. It's just it's, a zestier it's, lemon, basically. It's, it, yeah, it's grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's grapefruit, woods, and minerality. And and so, listen, that exists, and the the consumer and the viewer isn't stupid. They see it, and I can see how that frustration can kick in. I think they have valid frustration, Ross. I'm going to be honest. Now, should they, di- should they direct that at the people they feel that coming from? They should. Um, and sometimes we all get lumped into it, and I'm like, you know, if I get lumped into it, it is what it is. You know, I mean, you're going to feel how you want to feel about me, and that's that's cool. I don't I'm Look, not going to tell I you not. that I'm, I'm not trying to change people's minds if they have a preconceived notion, if they've watched the video and they're like, oh, this guy is just some fake salesman. Well, if you watch a few videos, you're like, oh, he's just a passionate animated type. Right. That's reality. So you can't force people to perceive certain things any other way than how they want to perceive it. So we can't change people's minds. All we can do is just do our thing. Right. Some are going to want to watch. Some won't. It's just what it is. But I'm with you. I understand their feelings are valid on that. The frustrations are real because not everybody is being authentic all the time on camera. Not everybody really feels that way about a fragrance. Sometimes I'm not saying there aren't people that their feelings can't be bought. Right. I mean, I, I don't know what others do. I only can speak for myself and those that I really know personally, like Justin, right. Right. I can definitely speak on Justin and Andrea's behalf on how they operate because I know them so well. I right. broke bread with these people. I spent time with these people. I've side by side filmed a ton of content with these people. So there are a lot of great people out there to follow if you're interested in this form of entertainment. But you have to be able to read between the lines with some people so you can see who's full of shit and whose taste really jives with you and you can value their opinion. Because at the end of the day, it's all just an opinion. It's an opinion coming from him. It's an opinion coming from me. It's an opinion from everybody else with a, any social outlet that has any form of following, whether it's 100 people or 100,000 people. You know, mm. So the frustration's real. I get it. Yeah. You guys are not throwing shade at any of you. Totally get where right. you're coming from. You just got to be, I guess you could say, eyes open enough, paying enough attention to really read between the lines on a lot of things to really sort it out for yourself. But I, I think it's cynical, right? Because I think what happens is when any kind of market gets over flooded, and I don't think that's a bad thing, but 
I think this market went from zero to 100, especially once TikTok came in. In like two uh, two years. Right. It went. Yeah. Once I saw yeah. how big TikTok was, people talking about fragrances and having hundreds of thousands of, of subs, um, I realized that um, that I think with so many people getting in, it's kind of harder to cycle through when it was only like five, six, seven, ten dudes talking mm -hmm. about it. And, and it wasn't a big thing but understand people you know this is a billion dollar industry fragrances yes. um every time i speak about a fragrance i pay for sometimes it irks my soul to a certain degree because i'm like dude somebody made some money <laughs> like somebody made money and nine times out of ten is not me and and at some point it's like working for free and breaking your back and we can go into should reviewers get paid or not that's a conversation i gotta have with the people but the people gotta come on we gonna get on this camera. We gonna get face to face. I'm gonna allow you to say your piece, and I'm gonna ask you questions. We gonna get into it on my channel, um, because I want the people to speak. I want I want to hear the voice of the people. But people, I understand your frustration, and Ross. I think they have they have valid. Do I think you that person? No, but I think they have with enough people coming in, and then you start looking at what are people motives, you know, and, and then you start speculatory, like are their motives to get free bottles. And then you say, well, if they're overly always saying something nice, they must want the free bottles. And if they want the free bottles, they'll whore themselves out for anything. And people who will do anything for money, respectfully speaking, are whores, right? But I will, I will make this statement right here and now, since we're on the topic, you can be real with your audience and keep their trust and be mm. authentic with people and make money. You can do both. You don't have to be all about a dollar to make a living on YouTube, to make money on social media, to do brand collaborations and all these other things. You can keep it real, be authentic and make money. All of that is possible. Yeah. You don't have to be a fucking sellout and lie to people in a shill. That's what a shill really right. is. Right. It's and people are able to make a dollar. That's really being a shell. Absolutely. You know? And and the thing is, people, you know, people say, well, should we get paid? And again, I'm a I'll go into that. I think I think the American dream is to find something that you love and get paid for it. I don't think for sure. If you like if you love your job where you clock in at and you love get if you get up on a Monday and you enjoy going to work, I think you're living the American dream. I don't care how much money Fair. you make. The, how much money you make doesn't make you a man or a woman, right? If, if you wake up in the morning and you enjoy what you do, I think you live an American dream. But the American dream is not to clock in, to be upset on Monday, to only wait for Friday and can't wait till Friday and be depressed again when Monday comes around because you're clocking in, you're working for somebody else, you're making somebody else money. The purpose is to find something that you love to do, singing, playing football, basketball, whatever the hobby is, and figure mm -hmm. out how to get paid for. That I is never the thought American I dream. Made. I never, ever, ever, ever growing up thought I could make any a dollar off of any of my hobbies and passions. I like yeah. hats. I like sneakers. I like fragrances. That was always my three things. Yeah. And that's the American dream, yeah. people. I mean, listen, man, we all have different incomes. <clears throat> we all have different maturity levels. We all have different places we are at in our life. At 40, you don't have to have it figured out. You know, you you life is really, you. to be honest, you never have it figured out. You, you'll be in the ground... <laughs> you know, with your face paint on, and you so still man, you got a bunch of people falling in love with you on the chat that have never seen you before. AQ, all right, man, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it again. I'm I want to show my guy Raw some love, um, and just have a conversation with him. He always had, I figure I'd come on, but I'm all about dropping gems because, as I say in all my videos, I'm not your financial advisor, I'm not yeah. trying to sell you anything. I think Bo Dissier the King is amazing, that's only because it's on my desk right now, but. For the, getting ready for this battle. Will I pull it out tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But for those it is, you it is intoxicating. See, for those of you that didn't see after you watch, or tonight after this live stream, if you want, go to the Quality Fragrance channel, watch our battle. Two weeks mm. ago, we did top 10 signature scents for spring, me and him on his channel. Last week, it was him and Angel from Cubano. Cubano. Tomorrow, it's him and Justin. He's got Sebastian coming up. Who else you got on the horizon? Well, right all right, now? so coming CJ, up, I got, CJ City. Coming up, I got CJ City. I got Justin tomorrow. CJ City the following week. I got Sebastian coming up. I've been, me and Robes have been talking. So if y'all want to see Robes, I'm, I'm going to get Robes on. But I'm trying to get Robes to battle Max Forte. I don't know if Max Forte is ducking, but we, we'll see how that goes. Um, 
Stop ducking, Max. Yeah, I, I would love to get Reto on. I would love to get Reto on. And I was telling, I think I was telling Cupano and I was telling Justin, you know, I kind of hate I didn't think about this back in 2020. I think it would have made for really good TV, even oh, better yeah, when TV. When people were locked up. When people were locked up, it would have made for better TV. And most importantly, I think, you know, everybody put one up. I want to see fire in the chat for what I'm about to say. Everybody put fire in the chat. I think hit that flames, rest in peace. Bro, yeah, hit the flames in the chat for what I'm about to say. My belief is if 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 Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover was still here, he would have loved what this was, and yeah. it would have been a blast. Put fire in the chat for Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Yeah, rest in peace to that. Emotion, rest in guys. peace to that man. I want to see fire in the chat. But but so there's yeah, the, there's the link to EQ's channel, guys. I just had somebody ask about the link. Any of you not subscribed, you really should be. I I. I Told you guys a bunch of times in this live stream. It's just easier now that he's in. He's on the screen, and you can see why I love the guy, why yeah. I've been supporting the guy for so many years. He keeps this. This is as real as it gets right here. This man yeah. is as authentic as they come in this community, and he's doing some original shit. He basically took the street rap battle and brought it into this community, made it his own, and it's the most in entertaining, largest live stream in this community. He's clipping four hundred live chat viewers during these things that's why as soon as i see him show up in the chat i go to hype and you guys need to go watch this because these are great it was non-stop entertainment with angel last yeah. week and it's gonna be great with justin tomorrow yeah he, he, he you know it's gonna be fun but i always tell people you know again i want to tell the, the viewer i i empathize with you trust me i see it i see it more on tiktok and instagram than i see on youtube but i know just you know at laws of average Somebody's on YouTube shilling. Laws of average. Who mm -hmm. are they? I don't know. I don't watch everybody. But the reality is this. But I always Same. tell you, I don't really care if you buy any of what I talk about or all of what I talk about. Same. I don't. I, I have no motivation for it. Um. But on my channel, we're gonna do some lives. We're gonna <laughs> get. We're gonna talk into influencers getting paid. Should we get paid? Are you being manipulated as a viewer? Um. What's the breakdown? What happens really behind the scenes of Fragcom? What's really going on behind the scenes? We're going to get into it all because at the end of the day, I don't, I tell people, man, I don't really care. Appreciate, appreciate sending, sending Ross some money. Um, I appreciate you. Yeah, that, I see this yeah um, two real dudes. Fast. Yeah, man. Um, um, my thing is I always tell people, uh, it, it's a thing, and this isn't a hype, and I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm praising myself, but the reality is, don't worry, if, I'll do that if, for you. If there's a fragrance that's really out and I want it, I can <clears> afford to pay for it. And I don't get sponsorships. I don't get a lot of free bottles outside of George. And that's because George loves me. You know, yeah. it, George. He's the first person I think of when both fragrances. I yeah. made it a point because we get we make a little list of people we'd like to send a bottle to right. for both Zed Creator projects. Top of my list each time was this man. George doesn't even care if I review him. Yeah, we don't give a shit if he makes yeah. videos. We just love him. We, here, take these, please. We want you to enjoy them. Yeah, so we so just think that highly of him. So that that's that, and and I stand on it, you know. And I'm gonna stand on it again on this video since we on here and we brought his name up. To me, leather tobacco is one of the best fragrances to come out in 2023. I've said this numerous times. If it is not at least nominated at the end of the year for one of the best fragrances of the year, I think it's highway robbery. The this is for tricks. for people who like really like quality in 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 art in but wearable art. It's it's stunning. If you like leather, you like tobacco, you gotta have it. It's just a masculine fragrance. We ain't gonna play around the game, but you don't ain't gonna walk around smelling like cakes, gourmands, and cookies. When no. you don't smell like a man, super this masculine. Is, this, this is what it is. Yeah, and it's a great and it's a great fragrance, but. But yeah, so but I I always want to tell the people, man, I I, I empathize with y'all because I see it, I see it, so I get it, and I get. But you know, sometimes try not to let the cynical nature of the game and watching the game, you know, influence you. You know, I always tell people, and I did a video on my IG live, and I said, you know, are you buying with a purpose? Right? Do you have a? Are you fragrance collecting? Or do you have a that was fragrance? A couple of, that was like, what, two days ago? No, that was today. Yeah. I, said, I, I, did, today? I, I dropped that video today. Because you I dropped got, a few of them today. Yes. yes. Yeah, why I did. I'm thinking it might have been an older one. Yeah, I did part one <laughs> and part two. And yeah. and it's, are you building a fragrance col collection 
or do you have a fragrance wardrobe? And people say, well, what's the difference? It's all the same. No, it's really not. Mm -hmm. A fragrance, a fragrance collection to me is saying, I need every Terry de Hermes. I have to have it. I have to have every Invictus. I have to have every why like me. I want all yeah. the Dior homes. All the Dior homes. Like, yeah, that, that that is that is collecting. Fragrance wardrobe. Think about your. Do you go into your closet and your closet looks like the Men in Black, where you have all black and white suits? That's the Men in Black. That would be suit collecting, right? Yeah. But you're gonna say, okay, well. I got a black suit. Let me get some gray suits. Let me let me let me get some brown shoes. Let me get some black shoes. Let me get some monk straps. Let me get, you know, you're going to have different things for different or for my gun people. I'm a gun person. Don't me sue me. You know, me I don't want to get all second amendment. My but, nine right, right here. Right. Just keep it right off camera. Absolutely. You know, I'm a gun person. And, and the way I <laughs> look at it is by my pillow. Right. You know, so I got guns all over. <laughs> so if you're a hunter, right, you, you're not going to if you're in Maryland, right where I'm at, you're in Maryland. You're going to go shotgun for whitetail, right? Whitetail mm -hmm. is shotgun. It's heavy brush. But if you're in Missouri where you got to take a thousand yards, you're going to want that Lapua, that 338 mm -hmm. Lapua. So you need different things for different middle, for different mm -hmm. missions. I was also in the military. You don't take the, if I'm doing CQB, I might want a shorter barrel rifle. But if we're going to be out in the fields and we're going long distance, I might need something that's going to reach out and touch. So I say all that to say, sometimes you need a fragrance that's set close. Sometimes you need a fragrance that, can expand. Sometimes you need one with sea art. Sometimes you need one in high heat that performs better. Sometimes you need something that's clean. Sometimes you need some for a work scent. You need variety. Something and, that just smells sexy on it, you that you right. know the girls are going to like. And yeah, You want that variety. If you, you can get five to ten, that's all you really need if yeah. you want a complete wardrobe. Don't chase free bottles. <clears throat> Let me tell you what I mean by that. Stop chasing reviewers who get free bottles. Your favorite reviewers get free bottles. That's not a bad right. thing. But as a consumer, you're watching it and you want to chase it and you want to keep up and you're never going to catch up. You're never going to catch up. Stop trying to catch up. Stop trying to buy every single thing that's getting discussed. Here was being said. Hopefully the reviewer you're watching is giving you a really good breakdown. And then you ask yourself, do I need to sample that? That should be your first question. That should always be the first, be your first question. question. Do, I sample I, do, it? do I need to sample that? And then when you realize in your mind, okay, I need to sample that, and you smell it, then you smell it, you look on your, your fragrance wardrobe, if that's what you want to have, and you say, do I need that? Part of my breakdown is do I need that is I take my top five, my top five, generally speaking, in whatever category, leathers, ouds, or whatever, and I ask myself, is it better than my top five? If it's not better than my top five in that category, I don't really think I need it. That's fair. That's a I, good way to assess it. I, 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 I really, if it's not, because the reality is, based on how much I have, if it's not better than my top five, I'm probably not going to reach for it. Because whenever I leave the house, I want to smell immaculate. I want to smell godly. And, I, you know, if you're a religious person, I'm not being sacrilegious. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I want to smell like a million bucks Every time, if I'm in a gym, I want to smell like a million bucks. Now, I'm not wearing, you know, I'm yeah, wearing something fresh. And loud. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing yeah. something fresh. <laughs> but, but, but the we're, reality, we're eye to eye on that one, right. light and fresh, you know? Yeah, but but I still want to smell like a million bucks. That's me. It makes me happy. It's part of putting on clothes. It's no it different than you. brushing your teeth. It, it's for you. So you, you have to ask yourself that. But again, people, if you're collecting, you want every batch of Aventus, you're a collector. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you do. But are you building a wardrobe? If you are, just find out where it fits. And that's how I would build a fragrance wardrobe. But that's more in detail video that me and Ross can get into on his channel and my channel. It don't really matter. I'm I'm all about. You know, I said I, I told you I was gonna come on and show love, man, and, and had these no, conversations. I wanted to give you the floor, man, because not every I mean, this is the first time you've been on this channel, I think. Yeah, right? it is, it is. Yeah. So you so know, I I'm want, a drug gym. People that haven't seen you. This is why I love this guy. This is why he's got his live streams huge. You're missing out if you're not watching EQ, you know. I want to talk away. They're loving it. They're talking about dropping gems. Where's this guy been? Drop his channel link. Yeah, it, this it's, is the kind of shit I want to see. I'm glad you guys are appreciating what you're seeing and hearing. Because he's he's awesome. EQ is awesome. Yeah, people, just just stop chasing the free bot. You're never listen. I'm gonna do a battle with Sebastian, right? 
Mm-hmm. I, I've already battled Beard, Bowtie, Darian. Kuba, Durian. Look, I'm running out of fragrances. I don't want to bring up the same fragrance every yeah. single time. Everybody knows Blue Sapphire is my favorite fragrance. I only brought it up on one battle, I believe. Um, Blue Sapphire. Yeah, it, that's my favorite fragrance. Every time fragrance. I see somebody post about it, I think of you. Yeah, it's my favorite fragrance of all time. I did a full review on it. Check it out. But um, I don't want to bring it up all the time. I don't know how I'm going to battle Sebastian. I don't know what that's like. Sebastian's been in the game too long, has too many bottles. Thousands of fragrances. Thousands, thousands that he's also purchased. But my thing is, yeah. the point I'm making, I'll never catch up to him. I'm not trying to. You shouldn't try to catch up to what's behind me. If I wasn't, how am I going to say this? I'm going to start off and saying, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not a paid CPA. I'm not giving you legal financial advice. This is all entertainment. Y'all got it? Now that that's out the way. Understand this. YouTubers are getting paid by 1099. 1099 is a tax-free document by, that you got to claim. 1099M, I believe it is, yeah. from Google. Right, that, that you don't get. So you got to claim that on your taxes. Yep. So if you're doing that, if you're smart, Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. You shouldn't be claiming that under your social. Again, I'm not talked to a CPA. This is LLC. all entertainment, and I'm just being funny. You should have an LLC or S Corp, probably an LLC. LLC. Part of how an LLC is, you should probably have a business expense. Part of the expense is what you are buying, right? You can write it off. I'm going to dinner. I'm talking to Ross. I'm going to write it off. I'm on the internet talking to Ross. Eh, I might write off my I might write off my my internet bill. Why? Because I need it for my business. Right? So my uh, my ahead. business account debit card says Ross Carlos and under it says TLTG reviews because I'm doing business as TLTG reviews. Right. So 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 understand that for us mm-hmm. we found a way to at least get back some of what we are taking away financially out of us. But if you're the person who just want to smell good and walk out the house, you do not need all of this. I get it. You're addicted. No. Um, you, everybody has addictions. Everybody has addictions. The first step is mi- admitting there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. You, you know, and everybody has addictions. It's porn. It could be guns. It could be tennis shoes. It can be whatever. So I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad, but I'm asking you to be honest. Stop chasing it. You're never going to catch up. And, no. and, and you're going to find yourself with credit card debt and you, your credit score is going down because your debt, to, your debt, the income ratio is abysmal. Your credit score is going to go down. You're going to want to buy a house. You ain't going to be able to do it and get it on a low interest rate. Which you're going to end up spending serious, money over. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's just going to cycle and it's going to be horrible. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is all entertainment. So yes. I'm not telling you what to do, but. You know, I just want people to make smart decisions. I want people to buy things that they love. My job as a fragrance critic is to tell you exactly what I get from this. What I get from this. What's the longevity? How does it smell? I want to give you as much information in a collapsed time frame because y'all don't watch long videos. You don't watch it. There are certain ones. I I have like a 38-minute video from the other day that's got 20,000 views. It, but I'm talking about the, the the length of it though. When you look at the analytics, like the length, sometimes oh, no, they that, watch yeah, the seven average minutes. watch times like yeah. a third. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so y'all don't like long videos, and we get it. Yeah. But so I gotta condense this information, give you everything that I get from this to make you say, okay, do I need that? That sounds like something I like. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get a sample. That's it. It makes me cringe every time somebody comes in my inbox and say, "Man, I blind bought that." Mm-hmm. I cringe, man. Yeah, because my one of my mottos is I blind buy so you don't have to. Let me take that risk for you. Right. Part of it is so I can talk to you about it. Sebastian is the, the perfume guy. Doing. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just saying guy. No, no, I pinned it because he wasn't sure because somebody put the fragrance guy. So the perfume guy's logo is that black hat he always wears that he's been wearing that black hat in his videos for years and years. Um, kind of white hair, kind of middle-aged gentleman. Uh the fr- I remember the first video I ever saw of his, actually, I think was uh, a line review with Ashley. Those of you who need reference, Ashley in Paris, mm. apprentice perfumer, on the Galan Lome line. At the time, mm. they only had four fragrances in the line. I think that's I the think I've seen video that video. I, I think I've seen yeah, that video. Yeah, like my favorite. The, yeah, that and the Old Sauvage comparison he did mm. from the 2012 and the 2017. That's like my two right. favorite Sebastian videos. But I digress. But that's who Sebastian is when he says Sebastian. It's the perfume guy. He's got around 200,000 subscribers, been around for years. Yeah. 
But yeah, I mean, but you know, I just want, I want the world to smell good. I don't care what, you know, economics you're on from, you know, you make 20K a year or you make 100K, whether you're in the slums of one place or in the ghettos of one place to the upper class of another place. I, I think everybody should smell good. I get tired of walking in the gym smelling underarms and musk. People say, well, fragrance is distracting in the gym. I don't know. I'd rather smell people smelling like this than soggy balls. That's I've just been, me. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. The only thing that kind of bothers me is late, I've, lately I've been having some ladies wearing some pretty cloying, cheap-smelling mm. sweet stuff, and they're spraying it heavy, man. Are they? They're bagging me. Oh, uh, yeah. It's it, a lot, man. So, so calf raises, choking. But so, okay, so so that's a whole that's a whole yeah. other conversation. Yeah. We've been going to – Smell like, it cheap, too. I'm cheap and sweet. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cheap – all right, I don't want to go Cheap and sweet. Into, you know how cheap and sweet is, I know man. exactly really what it is. girly fragrances. Smell, oh, God. yeah. You, you can smell it, and that's why, Still you know, rude. a lot of people say, I don't buy a whole bunch of designer now because of that. Like, we like using the word, a lot of people use the word synthetic. I, I That makes me cringe now, and I've used it. So this is not pointing fingers like, hey, you, I'm better. I've used the term as well. Oh, oh, I this, usually elaborate it, when I say it. It smells I mean synthetic. More of a chemical smell. Right. I yeah. try to take synthetic, and I'll say, is it artificially sweet or naturally sweet? Something could be synthetic and it can smell natural, smell natural, not be natural, make claims that it is natural. Mm -hmm. If something's lasting all day, people, I got a secret to tell you, it's not natural. You getting be smoke fragrances that last all day, it's <clears throat> not all natural. Room fillers, it's not natural. <laughs> it's not going to hit. Maybe ooh will... But outside of the oud note, most things naturally. Yeah, it's gonna have some kind of synthetic ambergris yeah, or something absolutely. like that. Absolutely. So, so there's that. But yeah, my job is to give you as much information as I can give you to that I feel to make a smart decision. People gonna blind buy. I yeah. really want y'all to stop blind buying my stuff. But I'm hitting on a thousand. Everybody's like, bro, you don't miss. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna miss. Stop doing it. Yeah, it's, I, 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 I cringe too, and they're like, "Oh, I bought so many on your recommendation. I bought, I just blind bought this, this, and this. I have them coming in this week, and I'm like, oh, God, I hope they like it because it's happened before where they're like, oh, you said this was great. You're full of shit. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't like dealing with all that crap. So I was like, guys, don't blind buy it. Just because I like it doesn't mean you will. Please sample it if you can, you know, because at the end of the day, we're telling you how we feel, not what you should do. Right. You know, we're just telling you how we feel about this. This just because yeah. we like it doesn't mean you're going to like it as much more or less. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. everybody's experience is different. Yeah. To me, this is a must have. And I have I have Bodicia. That This like five, six hundred dollars too. How many Bodicia fragrances do you have? Right. At least five or six. huh? Um, Probably like 10, 10 or more. That's a sizable collection yeah. from the house. Yeah. Yeah. 10 or more. Um, and but this is a must have in my collection. This is a must have. I had to have it. It's god damn, <laughs> <laughs> god damn. It, when I smelt this when it first came out, very few things impress me. Mm -hmm. Special designers, I'm sure. The simplicity of this impresses me. Mm -hmm. It impresses me. It's a must. H24, god damn, <laughs> it impressed me. I had I'm to such have a it. fan of both versions. Too. Oh. I like both, both are good. Listen, if I was going to do a, uh, like, and I probably should do a video. I just don't, because I got the Versus thing, I don't do a lot of top tens anymore. But if I was going to do a top ten designers that are going nowhere, um, <laughs> <laughs> those fragrances, they go nowhere. If I had to sell all my fragrances, I need to give up a lung. Like, the worst thing has happened. I needed money right away. You got it. You need the money. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm keeping. I'm keeping. God damn. <laughs> that's love right there I'm not telling please don't go out and buy it you know why because you can go smell it for yourself if yep. you don't like that tart bitter with the metallics mineral it might not be for you they definitely go for this metallic mineral feel in a lot of their recent releases both the H24s mm -hmm. and that one which is their last three releases have had this metallic mm -hmm. feel to them but think, I think that's the way we're going in fragrances soon remember how Unbroxing really hit Everybody yeah. had in Broxton. I have a feeling that metallic. Think about Ganymede has that mineral metallic note as it well. Sure does. Um. So 
in in what while Imperial almost comes off that way. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the way we're gonna go in fragrances. Um so yeah, that, man. Was, that was the OG Bray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is man, this is this is a happy scent. There's very few fragrances that when you wear it, just put a smile you, on your face, cools you down, put a smile yeah. on your face, petite my Petite Matan does it from MFK. Aqua Celestial does it. This does it, man. It's just, I can't stop smelling it, man. This and um, Dior Home Cologne. It's just. Oh, God, yeah. Who now we're talking. <laughs> you know, if, I mean, if that's, I was. That's, uh, every time you've ever heard anybody say ice cold lemonade, they're spot on. That's a, it's what it, it is. It's like it's spraying ice cold lemonade amazing. on yourself. And so that's why I don't really like the crap on designer fragrances, because there are some that are good. Now. The new YEDP older parfum and so intense. Now, I did a quick short video on that. Um, I was underwhelmed. I, I will say this: I think it's the best one they put out. Well, see, hold on, I'm, hold on. I'm, let me, no, no, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me will, let me will that back. Let me will it back. back. <laughs> Here's what I would say: I, I, blue to Chanel. When it comes to blue scents. Blue de Chanel impresses me. It's always impressed me. I resonate with Blue de Chanel more than I do with Dior Sauvage. I don't That's like fair. Dior Sauvage, but I don't know. Let me refer. Dior Sauvage's line smells good. I just wouldn't spend money on it. That, mm -hmm. That's a difference. What I would spend money on and what I think smells good are two different things. Doesn't compel you. It, yeah, it doesn't compel me. Um, when it comes to the to the wild line, I think if I was going to go in today, because I don't own any of them, I smoke mm -hmm. them all. If I was going to go in today, I would probably get the fresh, I would get EDP, and I would probably get the um what the, the new one, Paul Foam Intense. EDP Intense. Yeah, I would get those three. I think EDP Intense is I like it better than Lay Parfum. I think the Lay Parfum one that's, that's like my favorite one. Oh, that's, that's too corn. Favorite for me. one, dude. Oh man, that's too corn <laughs> for me. That, that's my favorite one. I'll be like, I'll be like, I don't want to smell like a like a twelfth grade boy. Oh, you know? I love it. <laughs> that's, so good. That, that's hitting maturity, and he wants to hump around in on everything. I'll be like, I'll smell like an adolescent. But, but we it, have a George it, sighting. Oh, uh, George. Oh, man. Uh, hey, man. George, love you, bro. I send love him the link, George. You're welcome to jump on for a minute if you want to. George has the link. Yeah, man. Let, let's let's make it a party. Justin, you watch. I think Justin about to go out though. But uh, yeah, yeah, Justin's just, usually busy on Friday yeah, night, yeah, and uh, yeah. that's why he couldn't do Friday with you, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say Friday. that. He did say that. Um, Tuesdays and Fridays are his busiest days. Okay. Um, Tuesdays he has lessons. Wednesdays he teaches. Mm. And Thursdays he usually does. Thursday, Friday it rotates. He has gigs. Mm. So he's a busy man. He's got three or four different jobs. You know. Yeah. Got counting YouTube is one of them. Obviously, so he puts out a fair share of the content. Too, Absolutely. You know? I, I'm still trying to figure out how to manage the time because I would drop more videos if I can manage it. But I'm just. Yeah, I'm he busy. puts out like three or four videos a week. He's been yeah. doing a short video almost every day, and he does tries to do a live stream every week too. Yeah, it, it's taxing trying to grow it's, your numbers. It's a juggling to, act. Yeah, you know? it, it really it really is it really is. But you know, one not another gig and free game I'll give you all for the viewers is how many we got? I don't even see it. How many viewers? Uh, one twelve right now. It okay. keeps fluctuating. We've gone up to one fifty. We've gone down to hundred. It's bounced right. around. A, a couple things I would I would give y'all as well is is. Always pace yourself because your taste will change. So I'm going to give you an example for myself because I speak for myself as a prime example and I don't want you to make the mistakes I made. Is There was a point where I was heavy in the vanillas and gourmands. Heavy. I think in the last two years I haven't rarely reached for gourmand at all, if any. I've been on my heavy, masculine, like, Flores, Jeremy Street, I've been on my Bois du Portugal. Like Ooh, I've, that's a I've, good one. I've been on I've I've been on this, you know, smell like a man, and I've been also Masculine been on sense. yeah, I also been on some where's the real ood at? <laughs> and really chasing the real ood and understanding there's, there's, you're not gonna get a lot of that with the mid-level niche no, no, designers you're not. at all. You know, no, you're not, you're not, you're not L lucid TM. I pinned his link at the top of the chat. To right, make it easy for everybody, if you want to check out a quality fragrances, link is pinned at the top of the chat. Yeah, there's different tiers of mm -hmm. the cheap compared to both. Uh, color. Uh, let's let me read some comments because I we always get to talk, and I say I don't, I don't read enough. Royal Oud, Royal Oud is a good one. Let me go back to some comments because I know people probably showing love. See, uh, 
Damn, what happened? See how it goes down in these live streams, people. <laughs> Jeremy made a fortune uh, trashing his innocent, ignorant viewers. Um, ah, uh, um, I don't really know that. So here, here's the thing: when it when it comes to there's levels of our videos resonate with different people, right? And For depending sure. on who you are as a reviewer, it's going to resonate. I don't. There's different levels and entries. I think if you're an entry level person, you, you don't have a lot of fragrances, you've been to the mall, but you want to smell different. He's the as, gateway. As of today, I think Ash is the king of that. He's giving you really good, solid fragrances that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg and have you for putting on both. Um, I ain't see that one, but he's putting you on to it. So I don't know if one Jeremy was entertaining. Two, he he did put women on. He was the first one to put beautiful women on. And I think Jeremy also, because of that, also brought the influx of women doing men's reviews. Because sex sales, this isn't a shot. Listen, a woman can a beautiful woman can go from zero to can go from hundred K followers in less than a hundred videos put out. Cause let's call a spade a spade here, guys. The casual viewer for these videos, what do girls want to smell? So a hot girl comes tell you what she wants to smell. You, you don't just give buy it. A, look at a guy like me and hear what I have to say. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And that and that's not you guys because you guys wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? It's the casual viewer that's in and out, not really part of the community. You know? Yeah. They, but that's they, also a big chunk of views though too. Yeah. <laughs> the casual viewer. Yeah, they want to see it. I mean, the, the 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 largest influencer at this point is probably Ash, but the person with the biggest number is Michelle. I don't think per view video, I don't think nobody's pulling her numbers. Um, she she's great entertainer. Um, so she knows how to entertain you. That is a plus. I can yep. be here and I can be like, oh, this is Bo this year, Dasmin. Um, it has a beautiful rose note with this very good Cambodian oud accord that that it smells fantastic. Cambodian oud has a ambery fruity nuance to it. You know, that which is all true, but yeah. it it that's not it's not entertaining. Y'all would flip off of that. It's just the reality. Versus hello my sexy dirty bastards. Grab your cup of coffee, grab your balls and listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's entertaining. She's coming in hot, you know. She comes in hot. Yeah, and so uh, can I be can anybody should anybody be mad at that? No, I just think that's no, the way the game no. is Michelle played. Is cool, man. Yeah, I talked talk to her here and there. She's cool. Yeah, that's the that's the way it's played. I think I think if anything, salute her for finding that lane and and taking off sure. with it. It is sure, what it man. is. She but got her own branding, the sissy spraying thing, the overspraying, yeah. the sex dirty basses, all her little sayings and everything, her catchphrases. She's got her own style. Shout outs to Michelle. Yeah, man. Shout shout outs to her. Shout outs to it. I totally disagree with your with your with your with your overspraying and sissy spraying. I, I actually think overspraying is sissy spraying. I find it to be flamboyant male masculine oh, behavior. <laughs> I yeah, find it to be mark. rather flamboyant. But <laughs> that's never if you're putting 15 sprays, that's like some that's rather flamboyant to me. But to each his own. Do what do what works for you. Yeah. Do what hey, works if you, for you. If you want to take that Montal fragrance and spray it 25 times, I'm just glad I don't work with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do what <laughs> works with you. Is George you coming on? have an HR department. Is George said he coming on? Because I don't want to break out before George comes on. No, he has he hasn't said anything. But then again, he could be getting dressed and changing. He was at the gym. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he was I know. Was at the gym prior. All right. Yeah, well, go him. ahead, text him. Go ahead and call him. Call him. <laughs> yeah, but but people, you Here's know, no all, always say people is is you know. Uh, and look, I try calling him, and here he is. He shows up backstage. So, yeah. So here we go. Asking you shall receive, EQ. Mr. George. Georgie Porgy. Put it in pie. <laughs> I was I literally you calling you to see if you were going to come on. I had to. I appreciate that. I had to. Oh, good. How are you? Hey, what's going on, George? How are you feeling? Good to see you. Feeling good. Let me flip around so I can read the comments on my TV, too. Hey, got to turn the Apple TV on. So let me ask you something. If I end up, if I find myself in Washington D.C., will you have lunch with me or dinner? Yeah, would you meet up? Yeah, yeah, we we, we could definitely, we could definitely. I'll, I'll do that for you, Georgia. I'm busy. We got to we got to discuss it. I do be busy, and that's that's just. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm ripping and running, trying to be a father. Well, not trying to be a father. I am a father, and, and doing the best I can. You know, trying to be that role model in, in between fragrances, working, providing, 
and also fatherhood, you know, that got to be prioritized. But yeah, I can definitely find a way to, to squeeze you in there. We, we'll, we'll talk about it. You'll get my number after this. I don't think I ever gave you my number. So I'll give you my number. Or Raw, send them, send them my number. Cause I can text talk to you. I know, yeah, I, know you're busy. Yeah. I know you're busy. How far are you from National Airport, Reagan Airport? Uh, I mean, from downtown DC, maybe 20 minutes, give or take. Are you, 20, closer, to, are you, yeah, 20. Closer, are you closer to Dallas? I'm closer to BWI. Oh, okay. You know, we got a lot of major international airports between BWI, you got Dulles. Dulles, I hate going out Dulles, but BWI is my jam. If I'm going to catch a flight, I'm catching a flight out of BWI. That's where I would catch a flight at. All right. Just, I was just wondering, I, I um, we'll see. I'm, I'm headed to Europe and I'm in a city next to <clears throat> the East Coast and I was going to fly in through flying into Reagan and then out of Dallas. And I thought, I wonder what the five hours I have, if he wanted to just meet up or get- well, grab We have your answer now. Yeah. Just yeah. We'll, we'll, you know? we'll, we'll like, we'll I wonder if you would meet up when I pass yeah. you mentioned we'll that the other day. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll take it by ear, Ogun. it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll play that. We'll, let's just play that by ear. Cause I don't, I always hate telling people I'm gonna do something and then it just doesn't work out because I like to be a man of my word. If I say, if I say I'm gonna jump, jump over bridges, I'm gonna jump over bridges and I'm gonna make it happen. So that's just me. I find myself constantly impressed with uh, with you. With you, you're very uh, you're like a you're like a quintessential gentleman, and um, and you're also very worldly and so and educated and you're well spoken and you're very spiritual and so I think it's pretty cool Ogun, that you know it's pretty and you love fragrances. How cool is that? Hey, listen, George. We we all got to smell good, right? Deion Sanders has a thing, you know, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you play, you play good. good. When you play, when you play good, good, they, pay, they good. pay good. You know, oh, but yeah. but part of that is, you know, when, if you're looking good, this not putting on a fragrance is like walk, it's like putting on fresh clothes and not brushing your teeth. It, right. that, that, that's how I see that. Right. But there's a lot of assholes that wear fragrances and expensive ones. Um, you, you know what? His point being, with your collection, yeah. you could easily be a prick and a snob. Oh, you know? oh okay, I see you what know? you're saying. Um, yeah, yeah. My Most thing people is, with your collection are snobs. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't. I think my thing is, uh, I don't. I don't think I care as much what people wear. I, I, I think I don't get into. Well, I just think as a, <clears throat> I don't get into gossip. I don't get into cattiness. I'm old school masculine. Um, I, I, I really, I really don't like playing in other men's business. I don't want to count your pockets or your coins. I do what I do. I stay in my lane. But if I have knowledge on something, I'm a share. If I'm wearing my best fragrance, I'm not the type to say, oh, I don't want to tell you. I want to tell you if you buy it. Great. Because I'm also confident. And just because you wear it and I wear it, I still think I'm gonna smell better than you. Now that could be arrogant a little bit, but Call it what it is. Hey man, if you're not I, I don't really care. Every move you make, what are you doing with your life? That's how I feel about it. Yeah, confident the way you speak, the way you carry yourself, everything. I'm yeah. with it, man. Yeah, I just want people to, to smell good, you know, uh, and, and, and make good choices and make good financial choices the best they can. I think that I, well, let's not talk about the fragrance for a minute, but I, okay. I find you a modern day um, Epidetus. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He made, he, he wrote some teachings on how to be a gentleman back uh, during ancient Greece. Okay. And so I could see you doing a modern day version of that because everything that you mentioned is Something I try to live for, but I think that when you, for myself at least, when when you're interacting with so many different personalities, you you're gonna have, you if you're gonna be outside of the pig pen, you're gonna have some mud thrown at you, and so you gotta kind of dodge them, you know, like. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but I agree with you. I completely agree with you. I stay in my lane. I do my own thing. But I also like, I like um, elevating everyone involved. You know, when I when I do projects, it's all about you know elevating and uh, what is, and leveling up. Right. It's constantly that. So anyway, that's all. That's. All but here's here's the thing. Here's a few things because I want to tell you, George, because I know you're a good-hearted person, right? And sometimes that can be taken advantage of. Of course. Um, and and sometimes that can also mean you care too much, and not that's not a bad thing. But some and that it will affect you in the long haul. And here's the thing. I, I'm a real big proponent of knowing human behavior and mm -hmm. what humans are going to do is talk. That's what they do. They talk. There's people who do, and there's people who talk. People are going to talk. 
Um, and some of that talk isn't always going to be positive. And, yeah. and you can't try to please everybody. Somebody's looking at this broadcast right now, us talking, and their face is turned up. And they don't really like what's the people on it. They don't like what's being said. And they don't like me. And that's that's fine. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Ross isn't everybody's cup of tea. Your fragrances aren't everybody's cup of tea. I actually, people who everybody like, like everybody. I, I kind of find, wrong. I think that's a red flag to me. Because yeah. that means you're, you're constantly changing who you are to fit. It's everybody true. in your chameleon and i don't know who's the real you so i can't really move and i don't it makes me feel uncomfortable and maybe because the environment and how i grew up but that kind of stuff will get you hurt so i stay away from those people it's um true. It's, I mean, it has to be a shame it's, i get it and like some, yeah. and i make the mistake sometimes to read some of the stuff online and you know it's i don't like george's and then they just go through all my physical attributes and then the people I'm with, and then, and I'm thinking, okay, I wish you happiness and peace. God bless you. I hope you find some kind of happiness and peace. Because when you're pointing at somebody, you three of them are pointing, three fingers are pointing right back at you. And so, to each is own, like you said, Ogun. And I try, I try to uh, leave the space, leave a space better than when I entered it. And so, is that your mic? Is that your mic? Yeah, dude? he's having right. some bad feedback. Okay, okay, okay. Mic. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll get through it. I just wanted to make sure that wasn't me. We can hear you clearly, but there's a cracking and popping going on. Probably, is this it? No, don't, oh. just go ahead with it. We, we'll yeah, figure it out. Okay. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. So anyway, I was thinking about you because every time, uh, I know that you like uh, rose with, uh, with a woody, a darker rose. And so I think about you um, as I'm... Anyway, I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what you're gonna think of this next uh, this next rose uh, rose wood that's coming out. Yeah, I'll be I'll be interested. You know, I'm gonna give you your your honest your honest feedback on it, and I'm gonna give it to you like I'm gonna give it to you straight up, straight up and down. You know, I'm gonna say it's your best work or not, and I'm you. I just know you you set the bar with this one. Um, did my video? Okay, you set the bar with tobacco rose. I mean, to leather to back, and it's if you can Thanks. beat this, <laughs> if you can beat this, um, if this has a snowball's chance in hell at being uh, it's being gonna that? be up there. This is gonna rival. This is not signature pour on. It just says signature pour on. Yeah, but this is the fragrance he's talking about. Yeah, I look. I look for, listen, I, I love. I love. It, it kind of it dwarfs rosé. Mm, no, it does. that's a lot. You know how I feel about rosé. Rose, Rose that they got to be a lot. Stop lying to the people. I'm Stop. not, man. No, I'm just you shilling. You know, right? That's all you, I'm you doing. You gotta be lying. It's not better than rose. Okay. It dwarfs right. rose. Yeah, let, let me... Yeah. You should send it to him, George. Um, the thing is, is that, look, I, I get stressed out because I think the same thing. Like, I feel like I have to one up and I just put it in the universe's hands and I just move forward and you're going to have some that are stars and some of them are, you know, some of them are smaller planets than the bigger planets in the, in the, in the universe of Sahara. So we'll see. Claude Deer, though, uh, I, it's the zeitgeist. Like, you know, I can't explain it. The timing, the, the moment, the spark, I don't know. And so if you just create beautiful fragrances, like, for example, leather tobacco, I can't believe how, how, how potent it is. And it's at 19%. Mm. Um, yeah. He was right. debating on dialing it back. No, it's 20%. He's like Ross. It's is it too strong? Should I dial it back? I'm like, no. This is what people are going to want. I promise. <laughs> he was debating on lowering it to 18. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't yeah, I get it. perfect I get the way it is. Don't change anything. Yeah. Um. Yeah, George. Keep keep doing <clears throat> what you what you're doing. Everything. Listen. I always say, everything isn't going to be a Michael Jackson off the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. a Michael Jackson thriller. It, it, Sometimes you're going to put out, you know, the black or white album and it's going to hit or it's going to miss. And it is what it is. Everybody, you know, every album Michael Jackson right. put out wasn't Thriller. It, it, it just wasn't Thriller. And so it is, and that's of, OK. Speaking of a potential Thriller, George, mm -hmm. have you mentioned anything publicly about a summer release? Um, it slowly got out there. There's a there's a because I've had people asking by name about it in the chat. Yeah, so. So there's a, that's why a, I was playing. I was playing aloof until I could get a hold. That's why I sent you the link so, so we could talk so, about this. So Ogun Royal X, um, 
the X, which is, you know, which you know, there's a triple X coming out. It's going to be just a limited run. That's going to come out the end of April. When I developed Citrine with uh, Claude, the Citrine was supposed to be a daytime summer fragrance. And then there's a nighttime summer fragrance. I was going to launch them both at the same time. But I launched Royale and Noir at the same time. And I told myself I'll never do it two at the same time because it's a lot of work, a lot. And so, um, and then I went and launched two sets of Zeds, but that's two sets of three with the Zeds, but that's another- that's different though. I had help though. They they all came in and helped yeah. me do it. So, um, so there's a nighttime summer fragrance that's gonna come out probably in May. And it's and it's really fast. Oh, you were talking June with it. Oh, I mean, that, that would we'll be a see. month apart from Royal Triple X. We'll hold on, hold on, hold on. I smelled Royal Triple X though. You gave me a small bottle. I believe I have that. I think so. Maybe, yeah. So that, that's, now, that, now that's not going to be for everybody. I'm, no, that, that's not going. That's not going to be for everybody. That's why it, I only made a limited run of them just to see how it goes. But you know, the little travel sizes they, they sold very well and quite a bit, and so. Right. There's going to be enough that are going to want a bottle of it, but it's like you said, that isn't for everyone. That's mm -hmm. a, but like I'm at the gym and, and the guy that trains me, he's your size, your build, like, and he mm -hmm. loves bags. He's kind of, he wears it all the time. He and so, fills that gym with leather to back too. Yeah, the, the manager <laughs> he sprays talks. heavy. The he manager, fills that the manager atrium. Talks. The manager. Oh God. LA, <laughs> I could not walk. imagine. You know how oh, LA God. Fitness has that big atrium when you walk yeah. in? It's yeah. Yeah. Fills with leather to back. Last time I was in Chicago, we walk in, he gets excited. He's like, Oh my God, you smell that? I'm like, God, yes, I smell it. Good Lord. Walk up to him. How many times do you spray? I'm oh, like 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's leather a man. He, 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 must, he must watch Michelle. You got to watch Michelle. It, it, ain't, it ain't, it ain't, you don't need that much. No, two, he, bl he two, blows three. through bottles. He'll, sp he'll spray 10 and then four or five hours later, he'll spray another 10, 12 times just oh, to do Jesus it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's a maniac. Yeah, he's cool though. Yeah. Yeah, he's a maniac. Um, Would you ever develop your own fragrance? Um, th to be honest, that's not something. Um, it, that takes dedication, time. Yeah. It takes it takes commitment, and it takes, I wouldn't it's commit your process easy. Yeah, and I wouldn't commit to something. Um, I, I think I have so much farther to go. I think um, even just with the channel build up before I even remotely thinking about thinking about that I, it, it'll be sort of cliche um but i have thought of things that i would like to see in a fragrance but i haven't put much it's not something that i would do no time soon just to just to be straight up honest with you i wouldn't even right. remotely right that, that's something i think that should be earned that should be it's it, you know i feel like that would be almost given if that was done um, I would want to earn that. I would want to earn that by way of building up a good fan base to get, get building up a good trust with I people. Agree. And, I um, agree. you know, it's a lot of commitment and work in that. And I wouldn't want to half step and I'm extremely particular. So, and I don't know with what I would like with people's price points would like, it. <laughs> would like it, you know what I mean? Like, right. it's, it's just, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm at the point and, and I'll tell the audience this, I'm, I'm at the point where I now could recognize quality, right? Or what smells as quality to me. So I acken it to, there was a time where I would go to Outback Steakhouse. I would go to Sizzlers. Um, but then as I got older and got some money, um, I've been eating at five-star steakhouses and Wagyu steak. I can't eat at, I'll cook my own steak before I'll be seeing the Outback eating steak or Applebee's. So, I say that to say that I buy my fragrances now based on quality is the number one most important to me, not mm -hmm. longevity. If I can get quality with five hours, I deal with the price depending on where it fits in my collection. Right. I can deal with it. Um, but it's all about quality to me. And so, yeah, I don't, I would hate to hit. I just got a feeling just based on quality, what that price point would look like. And then all of a sudden you become a uh, money grab shield. And again, I get it. Oh, people. that's inevitable. No I, I, I get it. Like yeah. <laughs> but, but I would really want to put like deep, deep, deep thought in that. And anyway, 
that's nowhere down the pipe for me. I, I don't Patrick, see that happening. Patrick, there's oud in leather tobacco, by the way. I just wanted to answer that for him. There is oud in there. Oud's, yeah. oud's listed. And as you get in the dry down, you smell it. Sorry. Yeah, but but no, George. Um, yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't do it. But we we can we can definitely link up. Um, we can head out Tyson's Tyson's Corner somewhere. Um, I know they got some fragrances of Arabian oud and stuff. I like smelling stuff. Um, but yeah, that's not a problem. But we can talk about offline about that. Okay. Um, but, I'm still yeah. under I'm still under construction. So if you guys see like a hamper or this kind of stuff happening, those two rooms remain unfinished. So if yeah. I was like, what the hell is in the background? They're not. So George. Yeah. Where have you publicly said the name of the summer release? So what happened was is that um, the new postcards that I signed with the orders, they, they already have the, the print on there. They have it on there, yeah. So, okay, so we might as well say it then because they already said it in the chat a couple of times. Ross, what can you tell us about Coco Loco? <laughs> I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. It's there's a fragrance I don't know about. Yeah, the Coco Loco. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll let you talk while I undo I, 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 right Yeah, go get, get some stuff. Ross, yes. have you smelled it? Oh, every rendition. <laughs> okay. We already know there's coconut. Is there some lime in there? If it's lime in there, I'm about yeah. to lose my mind. Yes. There's co it's it's totally different from citrine. Like he was saying, the original idea was an AM and PM, a daytime and nighttime. So it's warmer. Mm. It almost has the warmth of a booziness without booze. Mm. Um, it's very citrus fruity without being super sweet. There's no mm. real like super sweet fruity smell to it. Of course, it does have all the depth of the signature forum DNA, your resins, the oriental feel and such, right. the woods, all of that's still present. But picture if George, which this is what it is, if George was to release a tropical by the beach drink in a fragrance, mm. it's going to be a fun fragrance. I'm not going to talk about design and stuff that's yeah. up to him, but it's a fun fragrance. That, the that sounds profile matches mm. the theme, matches the name and the color schemes. Wait till you mm. all see and smell this. The, so, so the, the brilliance of his design work is at it again. I promise. Really? Now, now, one more question before you get on, George. Hold on, hold on, people. Ross. So, yes. here's the problem with some coconuts. Sometimes it gets suntan lotion. No sunscreen. Oh, not at all. Bravo. More, more coconut water. Coconut water, not oh, coconut okay. milk. Even more coconut water. Yeah. Mm. Not sunscreen, not suntan lotion, not even a little bit. Amber grease, amber grease. I don't think there's any amber grease. No, there's a what's it called though? I think that, I mean, uh, of course, there's a lemon lime, very lemon yeah, lime. He, uh, he's, he's on a big lime kick right now. That's why I asked about lime. Yeah. And, then, and so it's more of a French, more of I'm sorry, more of an Italian, like the citrine, how it has the Italian type of, of um, oh my god. Clementine, uh, it's a, it's a beautiful lemon lime aspect to it. So I hope you like it. If you don't like it, but it's very, it's not, it doesn't. The citrine needs to be put on all the time. The Coco Loco, though, this you could spray a couple times, and I'll ask you all day. So if you want, I can show them what's on the card. That's what sure. I was swiping through, it's, looking for the picture. Yeah, and it's not too coconutty. I don't, I know. So this was he had forgot to add the coconut. So the new renditions of the card has coconut on it. So mm. there you go, guys. Top notes of fresh cardamom, red clementine, juicy pear, and pineapple. There's supposed to be mm. coconut listed in there as well. So there's coconut. Heart is blonde cedar, pimento leaves, neroli petals, and star jasmine. Bottom is benzoin, tears, tonka bean, heliotrope, vanilla, and white musk. Mm. Notice mm. the design. That just because uh, mm. there's there's a lot to behold with this, but this just gives you an idea that, of the playfulness of how the fragrance is going to be. Right, right. That sounds, yeah, yeah. yeah is that is that going to be in one hundred and twenty? It's gonna be just in the small. It's gonna be yeah, in the, the fifty, the sixty. Okay. Yeah. That that sounds like a fun, flirty fragrance for the summer at nighttime. Performs too, because I know a lot of people bitched about Citrine. It's a good mm. performer. It's, 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 I got the inspiration from Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. Mm. The packaging and all that is that. Have you been to Rio? No, I have not been to Rio yet. Jesus, you would go to Rio and you would have like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, one of my favorite places to 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 relax at is Belize, San Pedro. 
Beautiful. Man, it's, 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 oh, it's man. Beautiful. Se Secret Beach, the water. I've never seen water so clear. Um, so Frank Kramer, it's not the same coconut as what's in Of the Immortals. It's not the same coconut. I see. Other mortals. That's more of a candied coconut that's in Of mm. the Immortals. Yeah, it's not a gourmand. Yeah, definitely not. This Kyla, is I was thinking tropical that. fruity drink type of thing. Yeah, Kyla said, lay it with Brox and, and damn, it went away. You, you and get more compliments. Yeah, you, you probably you don't need, need to. to. It's, it's high oil concentration. It's rich. That's mm. where a lot of the warmth comes in. The benzoin really shines in this. To go with all that just fruitiness, red clementine. When's the last time you saw that in a, a fragrance? Mm. And, and look, I can't tell you specifically what it smells like, but right. I can tell you this top, I've never smelled in another fragrance. See, see, that's... See. So, I've never <clears> smelled <throat> the top anywhere else. So that's my other thing. Can I smell something I haven't smelled before? I love when I get something that I have never smelled before. Like, that's the kind of stuff that makes me purchase. So the last right. rendition, Broken Transport, oh, this man. was the last rendition he sent me, so I didn't get to enjoy that one. I saw the envelope. It was all nasty looking. I was like, oh, it broke. Sure enough, yeah, it, it, it broke. Yeah. But this, that, that's the final rendition. But you're right. You're trying to find something that no one has smelled, and then you're dealing with the trends, and then you have the vision of the brand. And so... um. It's all those things that come into play when something's being created. And then the packaging, it's very intricate, the packaging and how I want things a certain way. And, you know, we're moving a lot of the production to France. And I'm thinking, how am I, I need to streamline it? Because a lot of the stuff that are being done here, because I'm here, it's easier. But when it's in France, they, they do, you know, Parfums de Marly and, you know, BDK and, they're doing these huge brands and little George comes along, you know, and it's just like, okay, it's a drop in the bucket, but you know, I have to start somewhere. Right. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. But other than, other than that, man, um, Ross, I definitely want to show love George, you know, all, awesome. always appreciate, always appreciate the support right. people again, you know, thank you for having be, me. Be, be, be very, stop, stop <clears throat> chasing the yellow dragon. You're, you're never going to catch the dragon. Um, you'll find yourself buying unsatisfied, chasing a high. And, get, and a get lot of redundancy. And a lot of redundancy. Get stuff you love. I say this not because I want to point finger, fingers at you because I think I'm better. It's because I made these same mistakes. Understand that over time, your taste is going to change. So don't sure. buy too many for right. that time because <clears throat> as your taste change, like – Again, I have Italica, Lyra, and I don't. That's when I was heavy gourmands, and I've shied away from them at some point a little bit. I'll probably circle back, but I've shied away from them. I mean, it, I went two years not even. I purposely said I'm not wearing no blue fragrance. I was so annoyed. I said, and then I circled back, I think last year, year before last, and I was like, oh, okay, I love this again. But I purposely ran from blue fragrances. Um, so just understand well, your flooded. taste change. It's flooded. You know, there's yeah. no two ways about it. Yeah, it, it it's definitely it, man. But um, Joe, oh, cool. um, where do you see where do you see this space going in the future when it um, comes to the, the review? The, hold on, hold on. Say it one more time because I cut you off. The now I want to know. You said the review, but the business of fragrance itself. How, how do you see that evolving? And then these the reviews. What what happens mm. online? That's that's a multifaceted thought process, and I'm gonna give it to you. I think y'all bring me in because y'all know I'm just gonna give you the flat out real. All right, um, we talk about this stuff all the time. Where, it's nice to bring you into the conversation. Where, where where do I see fragrances going? Um, what it all depends. Um, I see fragrances working with influencers. I think I think that's gonna be, and this is where I feel bad for the consumer, because then you have to siphon through the BS and figure out. Especially people. Yep. Okay, let's 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 let me scale it back because I'm all over the place. <clears throat> um, a people's attention spans have shortened since yep. the influx of the internet. That has been dangerous. I almost call it the dumbing down of the inner, the dumbing down of humanity, because it, it is though because now it's gone from a really in depth review to like okay, let me give them less than twenty minutes to okay, Ten let me give them less than to, a minute to, to, to now let me okay. give them. 30 there's no con no context and i'm just doing it to do it i, I was going to make a spoof i i'm gonna make a spoof i just got to sit down and do the video on just where we're going and there's going to be a reel 
and it's gonna be funny, but it's gonna hit some some people hard in general. But I'm sure um, I'll laugh. I, I think <laughs> I think um it it's it's a flooded market. The the fragrance space is is the new it thing, which is scary. It's it's scary to me. And what I mean by that is I'm a dog person, right? And when certain animals always say Americans screw up dogs. We screwed up the Doberman Pitcher. We screwed up the German Shepherd. We screwed up the American Pit Bull. We're going to screw up the Cane Corso because we're trying to make this bigger dog that's out of influx. Pit Bulls shouldn't be 120 pounds, 200 pounds. They should be around 60, 70 pounds. They shouldn't be no bigger. We screw it up. Why? Because there's the popularity of it that screws it up. With TikTok, Reels, short content, the influx, I've noticed that people who never talked about fragrances, who maybe just talked about clothing, are now doing sporadic <clears throat> top 10 fragrances, are now right. talking about fragrances. These style channels that really never talked about fragrances are now talking about fragrances. And so the, the, this is the new, the new thing. Because um, this is something everybody does. And this is something everybody can discuss. If I, if I smell... If I smell Richwood and you smell Richwood and anybody else smell Richwood, I can anybody can talk. Try. Anybody can talk about this. That's the beauty. That's the problem. I ain't gonna say the problem with fragrance. The problem with computers is <clears> if I'm <throat> talking about the new S23 phone, I have to really have knowledge on gigabytes, right. RAMs, programming system, everything that encapsulates it, right? With this, if I smell it, I can tell you about it. Anybody, You're I can give this to my I can give this to my daughter. And say, smell it. Tell me about it. And in, right. ess in essence, she's a reviewer. Put her in front of a camera. She's a reviewer. Right. That's true. Do I have to get her? And then the other problem is because it's so subjective, I can't really tell you you're, you're wrong. I I mean, right. some people smell this and be like, it smells like Cora Mandel. Um, I see why they say that. Owning Cora Mandel, I would say it doesn't. And there's really huge differences on why it doesn't, and I can identify it. The new no nose will say, "Oh, they're too similar. They're clones of." So I I I get it. Um, so the seasoning I of a nose goes a lot further because there's a lot where I'm like, I see why they say it smells like it, but I get just as many differences. As similar. Right. There's a lot of fragrances that are like that. So so the review game. So fragrances, people. If if you all are disgusted, and I'm talking to the viewer, if you all are cynical and disgusted with. Who you can trust, it's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse. And you know, yeah, for sure. It's going to get worse. Ass. People ride my ass because they think that I give a free bottle for a positive review. And I just wish that I think it, it puts too much attention on that as opposed to the huge payments that are being exchanged by these big companies and, and bigger channels that are happening. And a bottle, you could wipe your ass with it. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, why would I? It's so so small-minded for me to say, I'm going to send Oguna a bottle so he can give me a positive. I mean, are you are you kidding me? Like, where do you, what world do you think this happens? And then they go, oh, you you got a free bottle. And I feel like it's also gatekeeping Ogun because you have these smaller channels, right? You, mm -hmm. You're involved. You're, you, you have, um, you're much more grown in your life than what you have behind you. And you're able to buy your fragrances. But there's a lot of reviewers that truly love fragrances and they can't afford it. So now how do they grow? Because, you know, how do they grow? How do I, how, why do I expect for the 800 to 1000 launches of men fragrance a year? How are you going to be able to say out of all okay. of those launches? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, so here, here's what's going to, here's what's going to, and this is why I'd say, um, and I feel for the consumer because, um, and I'm just glad I'm at a point where I, where I can take stuff with a grain of salt and I don't really right. listen to everybody because what's happening Same. is this, this is fragrances are the new hot button. You, you can, I've seen people, especially when you talk to IG, if you figure out the real algorithm on how to really do reels, you can be at like 500, 400 K. And what happens is companies don't really see that, you know, what they are, they just say, "Well, that's eyes." So let me give this person a bottle. You know they don't who understand. Got down with it? Who? Buck's wife knows how to do that, and Buck blew his IG up this past year. 
Mm. So Buck's yeah. IG went from like twenty five thousand to he's got like one hundred and fifty thousand followers now. Or something yeah, like and there's some people hundreds of thousands of views on his reels. And there's some people who wild because his going, wife knows how to work the algorithm. Do you follow yeah. her? That's one of the little a little side projects she's got. She'll teach you how to do this. Really? You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I, I need. I need to follow her. Um. Oh, I'm always funny about following another man's wife who I know paid. I'm old school with it. You know what I'm saying? That's her thing. I'm, I'm, I'm old school people. I, I, I meet the wives, I do this, and I go. But no, I'm going to get hit. But once you <clears> – your <throat> fragrance is the new thing. Why? Because anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. there, there takes little to no skill to say, I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to talk about it. Um, I don't really have to know much because I can interpret how I – I can I can't be wrong. If I pick up this uh, this phone and I tell you, I can be wrong if I say something. And the phone community will rake on me. I just can't pick up the, the Android or iPhone and just talk about it without knowing the internal mechanics and understanding that. So I say that all to say it's going it's going to get worse. Um, it's we're now being flooded, um, and with TikTok and Reels, we're being even more flooded. Companies then are going to they realize with the Kardashians, they're going to push bottles and stuff, which I think is good. It's good promotion. I'm not mad at them for doing that. Um, now what for happens? You laughing right now? Yes, that's George and his boxers. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> <laughs> that's every time he's on live stream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fendi, Come on. Fendi and, uh, boxers. All right. Yeah. So, so here's the other flip side. When things get popular, almost like when you start looking at dogs, it's mm -hmm. what are people's intentions? So that's going to be, if their intentions are just to grow and just to get free bottles, then yeah, it's going to be people who are going to say anything. Right. So it's, definitely people so, so, that. so that it's going to be people going to say anything because their purpose is to be popular, to get numbers, to get bottles. And, and they're going to be motivated by that. And they're going to do what they have to do to be motivated. So I think there's going to be a watered down of, of who you can trust in the community is only going to, the people who were in a community in the beginning are going to get more cynical. Inevitably. Um, yeah. So I see that's where we're going. As far as fragrances, I think, look at the influx of clones that have come out. Just the influx of clone companies. It's a that are flooding in the last It is year. flooding. And, and I get on TikTok, and I'll <coughs> hear about clone companies. I'll be like, what is this ultra, ultra, whatever? What? what? Like, nobody on our side is really doing that, but it's all over. I've done a video, folks. Oh, did you? Okay. They're decent. They're decent. Yeah, I, but it's, it's like, like a year. It's almost like all of them are the same price. Alexandra, do it. It's pick Ocho. your poison. It, it's literally it pick really your poison. is pick your poison because most of them are pretty good. Like yeah. we talked about earlier, ninety percent of them, pretty good. Yeah, they're going to be good. So a lot, so, of clones, a lot of the clones come out of the Middle East. Yes. And all of the bigger companies and manufacturer producers they meet and they talk. So you'll have companies that do regular fragrances that are trying to create in their own collections of me too it's called me too a me too fragrance mm. and so like you have that kind of that have their version of aventus for example right mm. yeah. and so you're right and it's off because it's so hard like people look think, think of it as a clone as the consumer but let's say for example i spent almost and this is little george a million and a half dollars to do leather tobacco mm -hmm. right I, uh, you take a risk when you create a fragrance, so multiply that times with Christian Dior or whoever, any company, mm -hmm. and it's successful. Because out of the 10 launches, you might have one that really shines too, maybe, you know, and so they're taking something that someone has invested in and took a chance on and a risk, and now you have these individuals taking it and copying it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that can be done. It is what it is. But then it's easy money, right? It's easy to do clones because you're not taking that big of a risk. You just have to perfect your clone. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I just think I, I think ultimately um, it's going right. to it's going to be rough. I think what really needs to happen is companies have to have to put more effort in what they put out. And let me tell you what I mean by that. Um, I'll take your fragrance, for example. Can somebody really clone that? I don't really know if they... It, it, it's almost too complex because there's almost too many different nuances to clone. Can Not they clone it? Listed either. Yeah, can they clone it? It's a possibility. I take a house like Spirit of Dubai. Sometimes when I act, tell people, if you want to smell exotic, 
you get a fragrance that one nobody's really talking about that will probably never be cloned because nobody's talking about it. it's not that popular and then you get something that's so great quality and constantly changing that it's unclonable this is Devon from spirit of dubai i talked about it on the last battle this fragrance did from the time i put it on did you bring that up in our battle i know no, you brought this, it in i cuba. brought this in with cuba i know you brought it in with cuba yeah i didn't bring any spirit of dubai up in our battle i believe um but that fragrance and most of the fragrances from the house, when I tell you that they change from the time you wear it until whenever you can smell it no more, I will smell the opening six hours later. It'll come right back. A clone will never do that. It'll never give me that. Most clones give you a portion or the crux of what the fragrance is and give you that. So if the fragrance is really leather and fruity, it'll just give you the leather and fruity, but it'll miss the opening or the miss the... It only gives you elements of it, only elements. And I'm telling you somebody who started off like really getting clones. And I said, well, let me get the real thing. And then when I smelt them side by side, I said, oh, I missed the whole travel. I miss, I miss so much of it. But what it comes down is to, are you willing to pay for what you're going to miss? Me, I am. Everybody is. I got to interject because guys, Wait. I don't know if you were here yet at this point. I was literally talking about this with the chat like probably 15 minutes before you came on 20 minutes something like that about this saying that most cl the, the comment was it was our man john carlo that we were pinning some of his comments earlier i think mm. it was him said most clones these days are on par or in some instances better and i kind of tore into him a little bit about how no no you can't tell me you spray the original here of a luxury niche and you spray that clone and it's the same experience the same level of quality and I had to well, go into that. Like, I'm yeah. not knocking the clones. I right. understand the purpose. And from a consumer standpoint, I get it. I get it. I got a ton of them. Right. But you can't. I'm sorry. I'll argue with anybody. You cannot tell me that luxury niche phrase <laughs> is not superior than any and every clone of it from you name the company. It doesn't matter because it's not the same level of quality oils. It is not the same level of perfuming artistry because it's not the same it's not a flavor house. It's not a world-renowned master perfumer making it. You don't know who's making that. That's right. And that's a you know? problem because right now, when I get my patchouli from Indonesia or my sandalwood from Australia, I have paperwork on that. It's considered a natural resource of the country, like copper or when they're mining copper or, or trees or whatever, <clears throat> or oil. And each every oil has a document with it. And it has the IFRA standard. So for me to, to do and fill in France and for me to register my company, I have to take every single fragrance that I'm producing and I have to send a shit ton of paperwork for every single f mm. fragrance I have. A lot of these clone houses, and you know what? I'm going to be very general, but I will bet the majority don't have that. Who makes the sandalwood? Are you using kids? Are you using... Uh, are you using uh, land that, for the sandalwood that's, uh, you know, you're using pesticides to, that goes into the stream? Like, all these things are important. Like, I got buying, one. you know, and so that's also something that's expensive. It costs money. And a lot of those things, like I said, you, they don't have the proper documentation. So that's also something to think about. I've got one for you guys because George has ran into this problem where he's had to source different sandalwood for his fragrances in Australia because he uses Australian sandalwood for what all of you have that aren't in Australia for his fragrances, but you can't export then import Australian sandalwood back into Australia. So he had to use a different sandal. Claude had to use a different sandalwood for the Australian market. Right. Mm. Because there's doc, there's gotta be document because this is done through mom. They're one of the top flavor houses in the world. It's not just perfumery. It's literally, artificial flavoring and foods and drinks and all these things it's a flavor house it's not just a perfume house but here, here's the flip side to that though and if we're gonna have a real talk um we live in a capitalistic society for sure um people spend money on <clears throat> people spend money on things that they desire i don't when people tell <clears throat> me that's too expensive I'm, I'm at the point when somebody's on my video and they say that's too expensive I almost want to say bullshit, right? I want to call BS because I've been in Facebook groups and I've been in clone groups at one point and I've seen people do $2,000 hauls, 
to get two thousand dollars worth of clones. And I say you could have just bought one bottle and been happy. So, right. so what that means to me is you can't afford two thousand on a fragrance. You just want more for whatever the more reason. Variety is what whatever is. the reason is, and that's fine in the beginning. But <clears> there <throat> becomes a point where when does more actually matter? So we live in a capitalistic society where, listen, man, everybody's not going to. Different people are going to what's worth something for one person isn't worth something for another. For sure. Um, right. You know, they always ask people, you know, this is why I, I get on, man, I'm going <coughs> to so get alive and I'm going to go into it, but I'm here. So I might as well just get into it. Right. Um, I, I like calling the BS a frag home and I'm talking to the consumer now and to the viewer. A lot of y'all will say, I don't need to spend that much money on compliments. You don't have to spend that much money. You're absolutely right. But if compliments was all you really wanted, you could just go to bed and buy bath and body works and just buy all their fragrances. You would get compliments. So, so why do you own Dior Sauvage? So what? I mean, no, really. That's a good point. Be That's honest. Why, why do you own? Because Bath and Body Works has a version of Dior Sauvage. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it, it, I don't want to. If you own Dior Sauvage, don't tell me that compliment. It's only about compliments. No, it's not. Because right. then, if it's only about compliments, ninety percent of your collection should be. Bath and Body Works, Zara, twenty dollar fragrances, and maybe a couple of couple of clones here and there. You you wouldn't spend anything outside of it because I can tell you now, I don't care what fragrance you put on. Buy me anyone from Bath and Body Works. If I go out and I'm dressed nice, I'll get a compliment on it. So clearly, you want quality, and you can take smell quality. So why can't you understand that some people can smell the quality in this? As though it's pedestrian and want London Oud from Fragrance Dubois. Why why can't you relate to that? And that's something that, you know, I, I want mm. people who have an argument against it, I want them to come on and say something and why they can't. I need to hear their explanation because it just doesn't make sense to me. That's but, not gonna be easy though to get people to come on and turn the camera on. I but, know you've been but, talking about it for weeks that man, you'd like listen, to do that at some point. But then my thing is, man, stop typing. It'd be hard to get some people to do that. They listen, like their anonymity. I always say, I always say, listen, man, I'm not, I'm going to respect everybody. I'm not going to disrespect you. I know, um, and I'll talk about the brother rest in peace to him. And I know the kind of slack he got with it, but like Kevin Samuels, how he kind of like got in on the women. And that's not, I I'm, I, that, that, that's not, that's not my thing, right? My thing <clears throat> is never to disrespect another man because I respect all men because all men have one thing about them. They can all be dangerous at any given time. And I'm not about to play with anybody on the internet or off of it. I treat everybody the same in because that's just how men operate, right? Um, but I want people, you can do all that typing all day. Come on the camera and just say what you have to say. Right. I'm gonna think you look funny if you don't want to come on camera. I'm just gonna think you look funny and and I don't, and then that's just gonna make you sound less valid. But I know I want y'all to come on. I want somebody to tell me if it matters, why do you <coughs> own this? But anyway, back to your original question. We got sidetracked. Where are we going to go? The market in fragrance reviewing and fragrance influencers are going to be flooded. It's going to be flooded more and more because now there are TikTokers um, or there's IGers who now have the amount of subs that a Cardi B, uh, a basketball player has. They, right. they have 400K followers, blue checks. <laughs> that's unheard of to talk about fragrances. Now, that's just people saying, uh, I'll like this. I'll, you know, I'll follow this. I like fragrances. But engagement fragrance is something, engagement. Yeah, it's yeah, it's engagement. And everybody, so that's going people see that and they're gonna say, Oh, I can do that. And the reality is they can do it. Because everybody can pick up any fragrance, any fragrance, and right. talk about it. I'm not an expert, I'm just a person who's not scared to get on camera. Anybody can pick this up and talk about it. We do it every day at work. Somebody say, hey, what you wearing? Tell me about it. Oh, this is so-and-so, so-and-so. Let me show you where I can buy it, it from. All the time. It smells like we're all fragrance reviewers. It's just who wants to get on camera and who doesn't. So we're going to get an influx in market on that. Will they get on YouTube? Now, that's a little bit different. But I think TikTok and IG is going to be their place. That's going to be flooded, and that's going to be the market. And um, YouTube and then is the it most comes challenging to grow a channel on, to grow an outlet on. It yeah. is the most challenging, but it's also the most financially rewarding. If you can grow a YouTube channel, you can make much more money monetarily from AdSense than you can on any other platform. But you know what they, people would do, though? What, what you do is if you can grow on TikTok and you can grow on IG, then you tell people you have a YouTube. I've seen, people, 
I've seen look, people look at School Ascent. Yeah, Omar. He was yeah. big on TikTok first. Was translated he? it. Michelle mm. had 25, 30,000 followers on IG before she started her YouTube channel. Mm. She immediately, she was monetized in like a week, week and a half. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. You so can start elsewhere and carry it over for sure. If you have right. a built-in audience they, somewhere else, I think you also have a lot of the fetish. Mm. I you know I call it fetish fragrance channels that are using. Anyway, yeah. No, I know what you're gonna, gonna say. say. That that here, here's the thing, though, George. Here's the thing, though, George. Is 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 that is that a bad thing? I don't know. It's not. I, I don't know. I, listen, it goes back to being in the capitalistic society, right? You can't be happy when it benefits you, and then feel some kind right. of way when when it doesn't. I think I think it benefits us in so many ways. I agree. Um, and, and the market always dictates. So if the yeah. market wants, the way know? the way I've looked at it is as a consistently growing channel. I want to see the channels larger than me continue to grow because it's only good for me. Mm. It's only good for those that right. are a little smaller than me. And so, like like you, you're right around thirteen thousand right now. Twenty thousand is knocking on the door right around the corner with this new right. format you're doing, and so on. As everyone grow, as everyone grows that are bigger than us, it's good for everyone smaller right. to grow as well. Just it means that the community is expanding. People are becoming more hobbyists. Right, and just yeah. as an essential for your wardrobe, there's more of a hobby side to it now, and more people are entering into it. And it's a revolving door. Like we were right. talking about the casual viewer earlier, there's people that come and go, but there's always people coming and going. And it's like it's like going out there and casting a net to catch snow crab and Dungeness crab. You're going to get so many that are going to stay. But see, here's you the know? problem. Here's the problem. I think, I think more stay because here's what the thing is. Companies have now realized that they don't want to be the newspaper, the newspaper industry. The newspaper industry took too long to go into the internet age, and a lot of them failed and bellied up. Yes. And I think companies realize, oh, we need to find influence with the number and let's send everything. And you have channels or pages, IG, TikTok, who are getting tons of stuff every single week. They are getting it because they want the numbers. So what that does is it makes the other person who might be coming in new saying, I'm envious of that. I want some of that. What do yep. I got to do to get that? And them not understanding that that person has also put in work or possible work, Next they're going to try to find an easy way out. So then they start shilling. And this is where shilling comes from. Because then it says, oh, well, they say this. Okay, well, let me monkey see, monkey do. Let me clone what this person is doing and let me take their style or whatever and let me do what they're doing. And, you know... Is it good or is it bad for the space? I think, I time think will tell, right? time will tell. Time will tell. I think it's going to be bad for fragrance houses that are um, not creative. I think designer houses are going to feel it because these clones, with these clones, are cloning popular niche fragrances that people don't want to spend money on. People are going to bypass Macy's and go straight to Latafa. They're going to bypass it. And they're going and so what's going to happen is the Armani codes and all that, they're going to have to come up with something. Well, they're that's the thing. The whole motto of them being the fragrance destination that's a dying theme. I yeah, promise. I give it 10 years before they don't even use that as a slogan anymore. What Macy's the fragrance destination? Yeah, the, the space has shifted so much to online and decanting businesses and all this other stuff. You can spend a few dollars and have several wearings more than you would get from a carded sample by spending a few dollars more than even going to Macy's to spray the tester. And cause you don't have to worry about the hassle of right. the, the potential for the rep that knows less than you in the first place. Like that was a topic at the beginning of this. People were asking me about that. Cause that, that is the case for a lot of people. When you treat this as a hobby, you probably do know more than the rep. Listen. So there's nothing they're going to tell you about the fragrance. You don't already know. You're going there to smell it because you've already looked at notes and heard opinions and you want to check it out for yourself. If companies, George, if companies don't do what Hermes has done with their H24 with Ogevry, if they don't do what they've done, they're they're gonna they're gonna why odor parfum intense, right, Ross? Then the one we were talking about EDP intense. Um although I think that's the one of the best from the line, like the most mature, somewhat masculine kind of the line. Mm -hmm. um, 
I just think it added no value to the to the space of the line. Agreed. It literally didn't really ultimately add value. I feel the same way about the Armani stronger with you line, stronger with you Amber coming out. They're stronger with you ooh, stronger with you um leather and then intensely and absolutely. And I think it just comes a point where that's going to that's going to run dead and it's going to be as these clone companies get more popular because all the major influencers, I'm talking like the biggest channels really isn't YouTube. Let's be honest. The, the most money you can make is on YouTube. Yeah. But the biggest space is TikTok and IG. And all those big channels are talking clones. They're not talking stronger with you, per se. Per se. Some of them are. So, so let, me, let me tell you why you're seeing so much of fragrance. A lot of these are licensed out. So the Armani fragrances, you have a, a whole, the Pouge, the, the other one is, um, what are the, what's the other, anyway. They'll go to Christian Dior or to Versace and they'll say, all right, we're going to sign a five-year, $500 million minimum royalty to Versace fragrances. And they sign off. Donatella or Santo Versace signs off on it. It goes away. All right? When you ship something, it's called net ships. You ship it to the department store. If you ship a million dollars to the department store, they pay it a million dollars. All of a sudden, there's two hundred thousand dollars left of inventory. You want to take that back, so they have to take it back and fill it with something new. And they've created this monster of mm. of constantly having to freshen their inventory. And this is why you see, you know, strong with you part one, part two, part ten. You know what I mean? And so, right. and then that's why in three months, sometimes you'll see fragranceby.ca has this new release. For discounted already because right. they got to remove some of the stock because it's not moving quick enough. So they can, can, I stop. Talk, can I talk about this fragrance again? <laughs> Look, hit it, man. I see you sniffing and enjoying it. Go ahead. Bro. We'll, we'll wrap right. it up in about four all minutes. Right, all right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, check oh, it. Okay. Fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. That's 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 what it is. I love <laughs> grapefruit juice. Fresh squeezed grapefruit juice from the market. You ever smell grapefruit juice? That's what that mm -hmm. is. That's the best way to describe it. That's it. I'm done. I'm just going to smell luxurious over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. What were you going to say, George? You're awesome. I'm just saying it's created a monster in the retail sector. However, <clears throat> Chanel. So for me, I look at this. Chanel controls everything. Vuitton, LVMH, control, <coughs> every aspect of their message is controlled. The Kiri Group, the same way. Gucci, Balenciaga. If I was sitting in, a, in my Paris office at Chanel... And I'm seeing in this space and I see these influencers and I'm sorry, you guys are not, not you two, but it's not easy to control. You can't control you guys. Do you know what I mean? Right, like, right. Hell no. And so what would I do is I would just have on staff two or three influencers, influencers that are paid by Chanel full time to talk about other fragrances, but to push a certain message. And that's already being done with one big influencer, which I won't say the They're name. For but, years with him. But <laughs> he tells I, you. I see that happening. I see that. I yep. see I see it happening because the department store, the department store is dead. It's 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 a Tyrannosaurus rock. I'm driving on the expressway and I see a shopping mall and I feel like it's like, you know, the, the cave, the caveman era. And so I just see a lot of more shady shit happening. That's mm. all. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to go for the audience. They get like yeah. EQ was saying earlier. You got to. It's more shit to sort through. Yeah. You know? Good luck, people. Good. Good luck. I'm at the point where I'm not easily influenced at all. Right. Certain people, you know, they'll just that I listen to that describes the fragrance really good. I say, okay, I might need to sample that. But most, just I'm I'm rather being supportive or um, I'm entertained. Um, but I know some it's of y'all take just supporting the people yeah. you like, your friends, your online friends and stuff. That's pretty much where it's at with me. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and and unfortunately, there are some people who take our word for gold. I hate that. My thing is, listen, if I say I just said this smells like grapefruit juice. Don't take my word for it. Smell it Look, you probably sold a few bottles in this live stream because you keep I, raving I, about it, smiling bro, ear to bro. ear and everything, you know, <laughs> bro. It is what it when you <laughs> look, you can't help but get excited. When you're like, man, I'm loving this guy. Where's his channel link? You're getting all that activity has been going on in this chat. And here you are raving over and over about this specific fragrance. I guarantee you, 
at least one person in this chat went and bought a damn bottle because of how excited it has you, made. You, you just got to like grapefruit. If you don't yeah. like, I mean, grapefruit juice. You got to like the smell of it. If you're turned off by it, don't do it. Don't be, oh, he's it is on it. it. And, and also, I don't want you guys to confuse it with uh, light blue forever because I know that gets known for its tart grapefruit. This oh, yeah. is a much different level. Yeah, Here's like pure, freshly squeezed yeah. grape. You know how Dior Home Cologne is freshly <clears> squeezed lemonade? This is freshly squeezed grapefruit juice like uh what is it ever fresh or whatever them um i'm trying to think they got the cranberry the Look. different kind yeah the brand um yes me too ross no me ross like oh, he's saying right. i'm the one that bought a bottle oh yes, oh, me, oh he did oh yeah. man See? i told ross, you at least one person listen if if it's hard because look excitement like that is infectious for people you know right it, 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 anyway and something, else, and something else that i saw mentioning is the pricing of fragrance and i've said this to ross Everyone has increased their prices, and not only that, the time frame to wait. I placed an order for 50,000 bottles last, last March, April, and I'm still waiting for them, and it keeps getting pushed out by Luigi Bormioli, and now it's August. And that's with the pumps, the bottles, the juice, and everything has increased 20 30% per year. It's madness. And I said to Ross, I go, you know what? These major companies, these these big cosmetic companies that have infrastructure and they can't cut costs. They've got rents uh, in Manhattan and their trips, executive high salaries. They've got executive, uh, senior executive and little account executives in the stores. You're going to start seeing fragrances. Bottle number both two. The numbers you've never seen in your life. And I'm talking about even the designer ones, you know? Yeah, all right. I'm gonna stop talking about this fragrance. Look, you can come on camera and say, "Look, I'm not an influencer. I love this. Don't I, buy it." If they I'm like, like Charles you Barkley, and they like your excitement, they'd be like, "Damn, I need this." I'm like Charles Barkley. I am not your role model. I'm not your role model, but I like very few things impress me. Very few things impress me. I like everything. I don't love everything. Love. Very few things impress me. And when something takes me on a journey or a travel, I have to. Like it is, it is a must. And this it does is, it for you. The H, the uh, does. Uh, oh well, first of all, the H twenty two is fantastic. Yeah, what that smells like, the H twenty four. What the? Oh, I don't feel like going back there and get it. What but it look, smells. He, he bought Vetiver Sensual. Oh my god! Uh, listen, saying, well, that thing like smells. Not, people, there's people that are going to trust you. Just in this yeah. short amount of time, some people, which he he knows, he's been watching. You said early, he's one of your subscribers. But yeah. the people that are just discovering you here today getting to know you a little bit how can you not like you and then to yeah man you listen so i know how you like i'm gonna give it a shot you know listen man it, i know how you know Ogun is the man Ogun is it's the reality man yeah but but listen man and ross i know you've been going on three hours this is a hell of a live um yeah we're I gonna said, shut it down here in I a said, guy. yeah i said <laughs> i want to come on and, and come on and show love and and definitely um that's what i want to do so I and appreciate I have my dinner, so thank you. I had my sushi. I'm good. My protein yeah. after working out. That's good. But anyway, Ross, I'm going to let you shut it down. I'll stay on. We can talk backstage. But All right. All right, guys. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll shut it thank down. Thank you, Ross, yeah. guys. Good yeah, night. George, you want to hang on for a second? We'll wrap it up backstage. I'm, okay, sure. Yeah. So, all guys, right. thank you all for being here. Obviously, it was unexpected. I was just going to do an hour and chop it up with you guys. And, of course, I went longer because EQ decided to text me. He's like, hey, man. If you want me to come on, I'll come show some love. So here we are. And I'm glad those of you that have never seen him or heard of him before are getting to see him and see yeah. why you need to go over to his channel. Oh, he doesn't right. post every day. It's not an everyday content thing, but I'll tell you what, this weekly live stream he's doing is worth your time. It's worth your subscription so you can turn notifications on and not miss that shit. It's great. And a channel regular over here, you guys know George. George has been on, a, you know, if I've had 100 live streams, George has been on 30 of them. So <laughs> equality fragrances, guys. Equality fragrances on YouTube, on Instagram, on he's yep. there. Link pinned at the top of the chat. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to everybody that jumped in and had some great questions and some great insight. There were some hard hitting topics here. I hope you guys enjoyed hold on, it. Thank hold you on. All for super let me, chats. Let me hold on, hold on one sec. Can I say something? Yeah. Hit it, hit me with um, it. I was about listen, to hit you with a final listen, thought. But go for it. Anybody, um, if you do follow me on IG. 
um, and I know some people can attest to it. Matter of fact, um, because I know chat actually helps the channel. Put fire in the chat if you ever reached out to me in the inbox and I gave you information. I respond. The best way to get in touch with me or ask me a question, I literally respond to every single inbox question. I what have time for all of you all. I do not duck any smoke. I will give you whatever information you need. Reach out to me. If you got a question about a fragrance, anything, reach out. Um, I'm, I'm all ears. Go to my page. They, he linked it. Go to my link tree. Find me on IG. Yep. Send me a comment, man. I, it ain't Everybody will tell you. daily. Everybody will tell you. It ain't really about the content on my page. If you just want to chat it up with me because you had a question about a fragrance or what I think or a recommendation, hit me because I just want you smelling good. I don't care if you smell like a $20 fragrance or a $2,000 fragrance. I don't really give a crap what you smell like. And that's not, that's respectfully. I don't care what you smell like. But as long as you smell good, you feel good, you love what you're doing, you love your life, you love the direction. You having fun doing it? That's all I care about. That's it. Have fun, people. He's as solid as they come, guys. George, any final thoughts? Love and light. Share it. Receive it. Love and light, guys. Have a good weekend. Y'all have a good one, guys. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Equality Fragrances versus Justin Copeland, 10 Intoxicating Fragrances. Check it out. Y'all be there.